Yeah, we start. Yo, 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 what's good with y'all? We welcome back to another No Records Podcast, episode number six. And I'm your host, DW, a.k.a. Darius. And I'm back with a last minute substitution. Cause, last minute. Because oh, somebody flaked on me, so I had to call up the one and only my brother, man. What's good with you? It's good. Both of our plans folded today. <laughs> <laughs> What was your plan, bro? Don't worry about it. <laughs> What's understood don't need to be said, you know? <laughs> Dang, for you, my guy. But this is your lucky day, though, because after feedback from my father. From your father. Cool. I don't think my dad watched it last one. Nah, he, he watched the he watched me and Jay's, and he was uh-huh. like, he's like, Dang, you curse a lot. He actually brought me to the side. He was like, he was like, you know, I know you're a young man and everything, and it's like your lingo. But you don't have to say the N word every sentence. The N word, oh, uh, see. I, I, thought you was, I thought you were dropping F bombs. I think it was the F and the N word. Oh, okay. I know I didn't curse that much the last time. I didn't think I was cursing that much. I mean, I bleeped it out. I mean, I don't, I wasn't. It's like cursing goes over my head now. So if you did curse a lot, I wasn't listening. Do I really curse that much, though? We curse, bro. Yeah. Dang. Like, you, you, you curse, but you're a fucking, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, speaking of cursing. <laughs> bleep <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm not gonna bleep it out But like If it's OD Cause like That last one Me and Jay Like episode 5 I, was I didn't get to watch it yet I was low key wild You just dropped it I didn't get to watch I know. it yet If y'all don't know bro, Episode 5 bro Link in bio Check that out bro. You know what I'm saying Also you Wanna check something out You can check out This Facts of Opinions You feel me Shout out Coach Austin You feel me Facts of Opinions clothing Check it out Buy yes, some sir. gear Yes sir Buy some gear You feel me Can I get something for free <sighs> Anyway, what are we talking ah, about? <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was about to, oh, about to finesse this nigga. You might, Ooh. you know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So, back when I'm saying with the cursing, right? So, I'm going to have a little counter. I don't know what it's going to be. It might be like right here. Uh huh. And if that count, I'm going I'm to count. Oh, I'm, you should do it right here. Like, just tap it every time you curse. Have your guest tap it. What do you mean? Like a red button. Like a, and every time your guest. Oh. Every time, every time I hear you, like your guest hear you curse, you tap the button. And, and count it? Oh, well, I might get a red button. Get but until button. I get a red button, I'm just gonna every time I hear a curse, like either N word or F word, mm-hmm. I'm gonna take it right here. If it goes over thirty, I'll give you five dollars. Ooh, I like that. I'm with that. That's fine. I'm with that. I'm so with that. So I gotta watch myself. <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to get I'm so up. with that. I'm sitting like this because last time, you know, my nose was failing me. It looked like I had a booger. I didn't. It didn't look like you have a booger. I thought it I thought it looked like I had a booger. I didn't have a booger though. Like, I don't know why you kept saying that. You look fine, bro. I, I didn't think it looked fine. I thought it looked like something was coming out my nose. It no, wasn't, though. Nobody said nothing. Some One person did. Who? Uh, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> somebody actually thought you had a booger, you know? Nah, somebody made a joke about it, but like... They said, like, oh, you got a booger, you know, type. They was like, they was like is that a boogie? I was like, no. <laughs> they was like, yeah, I know, but like, I just wanted to fuck with you, but then, boop, another curse. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you can curse. It's, just, mean, that, it's just not me. I'm trying to... I'm trying to keep it. You're trying to make your parents proud of you again. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they, dis- they disappointed in you right now. Now, when he came over and talked to me, he was like, he's like, you know, I know, like, I know you're growing up, but not every sentence. My mom was like, <laughs> like, yeah, why you guys say it so much? I'm like, he's like, you never, you weren't, you never grew up in the hood. I'm like, dang. <laughs> My what? grandma, my grandma called me. She only watched five minutes of it, and she was like, "So I see you're cursing a lot, huh?" I'm like, "Dang, I didn't even curse you, that much." <laughs> we weren't even cursing that much in your video. At least I don't think we were. <laughs> nah, but. That video we made, up, like, you know how many people talk to me about that? No. The freaking security guard talked to me about that. Yeah. He had our games all the time, and I walk, I walk past him. I was, I was going to, because he always says, what, what's up to me? I, th- I was going to mention it, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to be those people. And he was like, oh, I heard you got a podcast. I was like, where you hear that from? He's like, I don't know. He's like, I just see you and Corey on. I was like, wow. He's like, I'm going to watch it later. I was like, okay. That's tough. That's like, my Dang. guy, though. I love that security guard. Nah, he cool, though. Shoot, I hope he, I hope, if I ever get pulled over, I hope it's him. He let me go. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna do that. Think so. <laughs> he still gotta do his job. Dang, that's tough. But you know what we're doing on the show, but we're gonna talk Always. about sports. We haven't talked about sports in a talk while. Talk about bro. sports. Talk about funny stuff, conspiracies, whatever you got written down over there. Don't worry, we got a lot. Okay, we got a cool. lot to cover. That's cool. But you know, preseason started this year for the NBA. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that either until I seen DeAndre Jordan catch a dunk. I'm like, on the Lakers too. That was I'm mad like, weird. I'm like, that's DeAndre Jordan. Like, you know, Kyrie can't play. Yeah, because he's a weirdo. Do you think what do you think is gonna happen to him, bro? I wish he just retire. Honestly, 
Like, with this whole vaccination thing, but I know, like, he's not going to get vaccinated. I know him. I hope he just retires. Like, just, like, I wouldn't be surprised if he retires. I want him to. He's just a headache at this point, bro. Just, like, he does it's, not, it's not it's not like I'm trying to say shut up and dribble, but, like, he does too much. Like, come on, bro. Like, Since you get paid to play basketball. Like, Ben Simmons is going to be mad, too. Like, y'all get paid to play basketball. Like And they're doing too much. You're doing too much, bro. Just retire already. I, hope, I want Kyrie Irving to retire. He gets on my nerves. Nah, he deserves He's it. great at basketball, but he's just he does such a much. headache. Like he sits out for okay, I, you know he's Muslim now, right? Mm-hmm. So like, you he's, know he's Muslim now too. Who? Derek Rose. Is he really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Big Muslim. Like he just became Muslim. I mean, recently. Oh okay. Probably okay. in the last three years he became Muslim. Like he like every um, time he posts something, you you don't read his post. Of course you don't. I do. He just made an Instagram, didn't he? He didn't just make it, but he made it recently. It was like six months. He made like. A couple it wasn't not six months ago. How long was it? Maybe maybe two years. Two years? Dang, maybe. I didn't know that. Let's, let's fact check. He made an Instagram April 4th, 2019. Wow. I'm so behind. How many posts he got? Like four? No. He has more than that. I had to scroll for a minute. He has 30 posts. He's following nobody. Is he, how many 1. followers 1. he got? 1.9 million followers. He's following now the soul. He's not even following his wife, bro? No. How old is his son now? Uh, PJ? His name PJ, right? Mm-hmm. He got to be like... Eight. Nah. Maybe older than that. Twelve? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. He's probably eight. Melo's son is nice. I don't know. He he's like a, I think he's like a freshman. Is he nice. really? He's freshman in eighth grade. He's tough though. He's tough though. LeBron, LeBron's son. Bronny, bro. I mean, he's he's all right. I don't think he's that good. I mean, I mean, you know why though? He'll fry us. He's not frying. He's not frying you. No. <laughs> I'll lock him up and I'll foul him. He he has, he has a soft gene. Are you sure? He has a soft. You don't gene. think he'll dunk on you? No. I'll foul him so hard. <laughs> I'm like D Rod, like Dennis Rodman. Yeah, you're not getting the bucket on me. You're not dunking on me unless you catch me slipping. <laughs> you have to, you have to really catch me slipping. Like, I didn't think he was going to dunk on me. That's I know what the you only mean. He's going to dunk on me. I know what you mean. Do you think he's going to play in the NBA with his father? Yeah, he's going to get. He's going to go to the NBA. No matter. No matter how trash he is for the rest of his career, he's, he's going to get drafted. I don't think he. I don't think he's that bad. I don't think he's. No, no. Let me not say it. he's not bad. He's good for his age. Yeah, I don't, like think, I don't think he's that good. I think like we'd be guys like they'd be guys. Yeah, yeah, of course they do. No, I mean, but he was hurt this year. I know, toy toy meniscus something. Yeah, so he's like slowly getting back. I'm excited to see Shaq's son finally. Sharif finally play some basketball. I know. How about you know the other ones in college too? Is he really? Mm Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I think he just graduated this year. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I still remember his kids on MTV Cribs. (laughs) You ever watch the MTV Cribs with Shaq and he was Uh holding them up like this? Yeah. I thought I thought Shaq had his own island, bro. Why did you like, think that? Because like the way his house was, it was like, like the front the front um door uh-huh. was like like when you walk out, there's water. Like I didn't understand that. I gotta wa- I gotta rewatch it. But every time I I think about it, I just think like I think he had like a lake or something like that, or like mm-hmm. a big pool. But it just looked like like when you walk out of his house, you just see water. It just looked like he lived, he had his own island. And like for a long time, I thought he had his own island. That's tough. I never realized that. But you know, I don't pay attention to all that. <laughs> But nah I think You think If So say if Bronny gets drafted right You think LeBron will go right to that team No You don't think so Unless it's like his last year You feel me It's clear he's not gonna win another championship Yeah And you know Like alright Let me go play with my son And then retire mm. But I don't think I don't think that he's gonna uh, I don't gonna, think he's just gonna up and leave Like if he's like if he's still a contender Like you know The Lakers is nice still And, he not, and like his son gets drafted to like yeah. ma- Magic or something Yeah he's not gonna like go that. to the Magic I spend one more year with his son. That's true. But, well, I got a question, right? I'm here. So, I have a list of players right now. Yeah. Do you think these players are going to make the Hall of Fame by the end of their career? Okay. All right. I already asked you D. Rose. I already know your answers. I'm not even going to bring yes. his name up. Okay. Yes. D. Rose will make the... All right. Uh, Russ, Not Russell. Uh, Kyle Lowry. Yeah. Yeah. You think you... Yeah. Everybody hates on Kyle Lowry. You know he's crazy? I don't know why I used to hate on him. I used to hate him too for some re- for no reason at all. He don't look like he hoops. He did nothing to me. I just hated him. I used to call him Pitbull Larry. Like, just like you know why? You know why? It's that one video that dude was like, Kyle Larry. <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's that one video. Like, that's why everybody hates him. I think so. I mean, but like, I actually like Kyle Larry now. Like, he just looked chips. He like he just he just like look fat running around. Like, I don't know how he making these shots. I mean, he's a dog though. He is. I think he, especially since he's, he's, gonna, just, he's won a championship, 
in the, the Toronto the whole Canada thing. I think he be. was isn't he like I think he's all time scoring in Toronto. I don't I'm not sure about that. I gotta look that up, but I think he is. I'm not sure about that. Like leading scorer. He might be though. He might be. That's a small franchise. I know he's 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 all time something in Toronto. Mm-hmm. It might be that. Uh, all right, how about this one? Jimmy Butler. I don't know. That's a very iffy one. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think he's gonna make the Hall of Fame. As of right now. No. As of right now. I don't think right he now, has no. a lot of accolades to if he would have won the finals, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's but a, then, then again, Chris Webber went to the. But you know how long it took him now. Like he been retired. I know he. It took him like what twenty years. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't <laughs> think it was twenty, but <laughs> close to it. I think maybe close to it. I mean, he got. I think he re, when did he retired. No, no, no. It's way off. Maybe ten years. Yeah, I'm saying, I don't think it was twenty, but like maybe fifteen, ten ish. Yeah, I, think I don't. I don't know Jimmy Butler. Have it right? Not right now. If he retires today, I don't think he'll make the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I think it's slow for Jimmy. Uh. Paul George. Nah. Nah. You know, people were saying, I heard this on TikTok. They saying Paul George is top three MVP candidates this year. I mean, it's possible if he balls out. Do you uh, think he's going to ball out, though? I hope so. I, I, I was a PG fan at a, at a point. I mean, I was too. Like, I like Paul George. I don't got a problem with him. But I'm just saying, nah, I don't I, think I MVP. Mean, I, started, I started having problems with players once I started betting. That's it's, your problem, bro. Like, once that, like, I hate, I it's the reason why I hate Ben Simmons, bro. He just, sucks so much. Like he's lost me so much money. Like I don't know why y'all bet on Ben Simmons. I bet on the under. He does goes over. I bet if it's over, he goes under. He just sucks. That's why I hate Giannis too. Giannis does the absolute opposite of what I want. I hate Giannis so much. Watching him win a championship just made my whole everything bleed inside of me. Like I did, couldn't. Did you I, bet against him to win a championship? Yeah, of course. Oh wow. I don't want him. To, I didn't want him to win anything. I hate. I hate that he has two MVPs. I hate that he has a deep boy. I hate everything about him. Like. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, he's not good at basketball. Are we going to have that debate again? What? I mean, you and UJ had it already. I know. He's not good at basketball, though. Yeah, they're here first. He's, That's two people. Giannis is not good. He, like, you feel me? He gets the job done. But he's not good he's at he's basketball. He's not good at basketball. He's a, he's a great athlete. He's a, my dad says this all the time, so I don't want to you know, steal his quote. But my dad says he's, a, uh, he's an athlete playing basketball, not an athletic <laughs> basketball player. He's an athlete playing basketball. Yeah, he's like he's an athlete, like you know. That knows how to yeah. dribble. Yeah, that he's an, like he's an athlete playing basketball, not a mm. basketball player, not an athletic basketball player. Athletic, ba- oh, okay, I yeah. know what you mean. So he's just athletic. Yeah, or he's, he's just an athlete. Like he can play any sport if he wanted to. He's that athletic. Like he can that run. knee injury he had during, like he was supposed to be out for that. I like, know. He's, he's that much of a monster. Like, he, like there's no question in his freaking nature. I don't think steroids. He's just a freak. He's just a freak of nature. Like, you can't get that to him. He's just not good at the game of basketball. He just gets the job done because he's that much bigger, stronger, faster yeah, than everybody. everybody. Jumps higher. He just, you know, he's an athlete. Mm. That's take number two on Giannis, people. I'm trying to tell you. He's the worst superstar we've ever seen. He is the the most. He's the assest superstar we've ever seen. <laughs> like, he's like, he's so good, but he's so ass at the same time. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, he, like it's bad because, like, how you play with him in 2K is exactly how you play in real life. <laughs> like it's that like it's 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 bad, but that's how you play in real life. Like just hold turbo and go, and just run and yeah. just get dunk animations. That's what I'm saying. Like, literally just get dunk animations. That's like, facts. That's facts. <laughs> like he's just not good at the game of basketball, but he's great. Mm. You think? Oh well, he's, of course he's making the Hall of Fame. Uh, no, no, without a doubt. Without he, a he, doubt. he retires today. He's making it in first next, ballot next, Hall of next Fame, five bro. years. First ballot, bro. All right. How about Andre Iguodala? I'm thinking. I think he should. I think he should too. I think he has everything. He everything. should have never won that Finals MVP though. That's kind of sh- of a stretch. Debatable. Because he's just guarding LeBron. Nah, I mean I think Steph should have won it just because I like Steph. Yeah. But Steph folded, bro. Steph, Steph doesn't do what he's supposed to in the finals. I think Steph should have won it the last year with KD. The last ring they won. I think Steph should have won the MVP. You think so? I think he should have won that one. Mm. So, Andre Iguodala, do you think he's going to be in the Hall of Fame? I think so. I think that's a good take. I think, yeah, I think he can make it. I wouldn't be surprised. I think he should make it. He mm-hmm. should make it. Yeah. All right. How about Kyrie Irving? I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hope he don't make it. Now, I think as of right now, he like probably another Chris Webber situation. Yeah. Like, he won't, make, he won't be first ballot. I don't think he should be first ballot. Like, mm. you know, what has he done besides winning a ring? Think about it. Like, he hasn't, like... He hasn't done nothing besides, like, if it wasn't for LeBron James, Kyrie Irving would still probably never made the playoffs. 
That's low key facts. Like I always say, like there's a, a, a debate. It's like, like I, I always get into everybody. It's like, would you rather have Kyrie Irving or Damian Lillard? I'm taking Damian Lillard ten times out of the week. Really? Over Kyrie Irving. Damian Lillard made the playoffs almost every. I think he made it his rookie year. I'm not sure. Let's not fact check that. But yeah, like, I don't know. I, he made it. He made the playoffs how many times in his career? He what you call it? Took took the Trailblazers to the playoff after he lost all of his starters. He lost mm. every single starter on his team, and then went to the playoffs still the next true. year. Damian Lillard's been carrying the Blazers for how long? Since he was, since he had no facial hair. Now he has facial hair. <laughs> he's, been, he's been carrying the Blazers for that long. Kyrie Irving never made the playoffs until With Bron that. came, and mm. then the next year when he went to went to uh, Boston, they went farther without him than they did with him. He got bounced in the second round when he that the next year he played without him. They went to, there was one there was literally one game away from going from to the, the finals. finals without him. So Kyrie just ass. I don't know. He's not ass. He's, Kyrie no. over Dame over Kyrie though. Dame over Kyrie. Respectfully, I would never say Kyrie's ass. Kyrie is is a great basketball player. He's just Kyrie. Do you think a trade for Kyrie Irving for Ben Simmons is a good trade? No, you don't think so. Not at all. Why? Why you say that? Because like like I said. Kyrie Irving, like, so if it was confirmed, like, in some insider, like, Kyrie Irving wasn't going to play for real and, like, you know, be a hassle all season, you know, then it would be, like, a good trade because now the Sixers would lose. But yeah. if Kyrie Irving's going to play, he's good. He's going to play. If he, like, he's not, like, he's not bad at basketball. Like, he's yeah. really good, like, you know, like. But you don't think Ben Simmons won't work on the, on the, on the Sixers, bro? Oh. Ben Simmons is so bad. He needs to go to China, bro. He, I don't know. Bro, he's not. Why? Like, I like Ben Simmons. No. Because, look, think about it, bro. Ben Simmons doesn't ever deserve to be an all-star. Ben what? Simmons deserved to be with Anthony Bennett. Nah. Wherever that guy's at. Nah. Ben Simmons is so bad. Like, he pays. Okay, he plays great defense. And he passes the ball. He's a way better version of Draymond Green. But, like, you feel me? If it's, Draymond could be an all star, anybody could be a but, fucking all star. But like, but put it as this. Dang, that's one. Draymond, are you cursed? Yeah. Yeah, here you go. Curse again. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I held it back. <laughs> nah, held you it said back. it though. I heard you. I heard you. You said it. Nah, but Draymond Green is different though, because Draymond Green's not the scoring option, or he's not the. He's like not even. I wouldn't say he's the fourth option on the team. I say he's not even sixth, honestly. That's what I'm saying. Ben Simmons is your number two guy. Draymond Green is not your number two guy, not your number three guy. I'm like they're giving the ball to Iguodala before they give the ball to, to Draymond. I mean that they're giving I, the ball to Draymond to set it up for Iguodala or Steph or Clay or Andrew Wiggins or whoever's on the team at, the, at this moment. You know? <laughs> but Ben Simmons is literally their number two guy. Your number two guy cannot be Draymond. See, but that's why I would think it would be a good trade. Cause look, the 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 Nets need somebody that could guard somebody. So. Realistically, it wouldn't be a bad trade. It wouldn't because, be a bad trade. Because, like, you know, you're going to get a defender and you're going to get somebody that literally doesn't want to shoot the ball. Exactly. You so got guess what? You two have, guys that, could, that want yeah, to shoot the that's ball. That's what I'm saying. So it's not going to be a bad trade. You literally want, you have, you're going to gain a dude that all he wants to do is pass the ball and play defense. Exactly. But, that's all you need. But, but I think and Kyrie dunks. fits better. You think so? I think so. I don't think so. Like I said, like, he's, he's, he's crazy. But, like, like you know, if he's too many buckets. If, he didn't, if him and James Harden didn't get hurt, Giannis would still be a bum, and I could call him a bum proudly. You know? <laughs> but I can't call him a bum no more. I have to respect him now because he because he Paul, wanted because Chris Paul folded. Chris Paul was hurt. Chris Paul Chris Paul lost the championship. Giannis didn't win. I felt bad. I wanted him to win. I wanted him to win. He so was bad. so close. You ever seen that that um, video? And he's like, damn. Uh, and he's just watching them the celebrate. He's like, damn. No, I thought that was uh, Devin Booker that said it. He oh yeah, it was Devin, Devin Booker. Booker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. It, it, I think it said, Chris Paul just left. No, nah, Chris Paul said something like, oh. I can't wait to come back or like I, I'm thirsty like I can't wait I'm like Chris Paul you ain't never coming back <laughs> that was your one and only chance respectfully that was probably like his last his one and only one chance and o- unless he bandwagon exactly. LeBron unless he goes to play with LeBron that's really a thing just go right? play with LeBron go, go play with LeBron or KD <laughs> at this point hey, go, play, go play with one of them you win go, something. just go to a minimum go win yeah I got all this money might as well just saying. get a million dollars go win something yo. just go win something. go to the finals at least <laughs> Pay you get paid a million dollars just to go win Basically, <laughs> but I don't think he gonna go again, bro. Nah, it's over With fun. the Suns, I don't know. Unless, the, unless Devin Booker just turns into Kobe. Facts. 
Let's do like, let's like all that Kobe talk. Unless Devin Booker just turns to Kobe this summer, start averaging like twenty. Nah, he has to average like 32. 30, 32 like Kobe. Thirty two, bro. Thirty two. Uh, thirty two. Thirty two. Six and seven. Mm, that's tough. And then you feel me? Maybe they could go back. And Jay Crowder turns into Draymond. That's what Draymond. He needs to turn into Draymond with a jump shot. That's what Jay Crowder needs to turn. I into. mean, Jay Crowder shoot like thirty five percent from three. That's like nah, average. But in the finals, he like he was breaking. He was breaking. Dang. My son, Darko, was Mil- Sargent? Uh, Darko, Sarge? He, they needed him, bro. Didn't he get hurt? He got towards ACL. Wow. Everybody be tearing the ACL out Towards ACL. What the hell's going on? Oh, my God. But, oh. <clears throat> Back on the people that do we think they're going to make the Hall of Fame at the end of their career. Do you think Russell Westbrook is going to make them? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. has to. Like, he, Russell Westbrook because he's tired right now. He's making the Hall of Fame. First ballot. Average triple-double. For four years. Three, oh, three four years. Whatever. That's a straight. straight. And then he, what you call it, won an MVP. Yeah, he's gonna. Now to piggyback off of that, do you think Russell Westbrook is better than James Harden all time? No. You don't think so? No. Why would he be? They have almost the same exact accolades, except for Avin and the triple double. They have almost the same exact accolades. So you think James Harden's better? And, but James Harden has one more. One more what? Win. He just won more. He wins more. Yeah. So what? Is, so that's the reason why. Yeah, like, and James Harden has so much more points. I mean, like, I, I pretty, I, I, I could gamble. I bet you their assist is not that far off. I can gamble mm. that. I can gamble their assist is not that far off. All t- like their their career assist, I can gamble it's not that far off. I can gamble the rebounds are not that far off either. Nah, the rebounds is up Let's there. Check right now. Go ahead. Oh, so total points, James Harden has twenty two thousand and forty five. Russell Westbrook has twenty one thousand. 857. They have 21,000 points? Don't they have like a... Isn't that like... Don't they celebrate 20,000 points? I mean, yeah, it's an accolade. But they don't be talking... I didn't even hear them I mean, say it. That was probably a while ago. I know. That's, it. What the hell? James Harden is, has... I hate reading like numbers. I'm oh, I'm all the way wrong though. So I'm all the way wrong. Why? How much? So, I'm, I'm wrong with assists and rebounds. So, James Harden has 4,794 rebounds. Russell Westbrook has 6,961 rebounds. Damn. Total assist is crazy. <laughs> James Harden has 5,730. And Westbrook has 8,061. So so Westbrook is close to 20K, 10K, 10K. Yeah. That's OD. Yeah, so I was wrong. I'm absolutely wow. wrong. Wow. I'm so wrong. Like James Harden not even blowing him out in points either, so I don't know. Oh I don't know anymore. I changed my. Uh, I think I think Russell Westbrook might be better all the time than James Harden. I still say no because the winning percentage says no. I mean, Russell Westbrook been on some bad teams. They hoe him, bro. I mean, James Harden hasn't been on great teams himself. Either. I mean, the, that Rockets team was pretty was good with Chris Paul, but about before Chris Paul. I mean, that Rockets team was contending every yeah, year. But like, it's because James Harden was that nice. Yeah, but I mean, Russell Westbrook, freaking KD left him. He was by himself. And he got he, one year. Then he got Paul George. Man. And Melo. I mean, Melo was washed. No. They put Melo in a bad role. He just came from the Knicks. How was he washed? He just oh, came yeah, from yeah, carrying yeah, yeah, the yeah, Knicks. Yeah, yeah, He did. He did. Sorry, Melo. Word. You better take all these Knicks posters down here. <laughs> I'm going to talk bad about my guy. He was considering coming back to the Knicks. No, I wouldn't come back if I was him. I wouldn't. I want Derrick Rose to go win a ring. I mean, I love that he's on the Knicks. Don't make no like don't make it wrong. But. Are you gonna get a Derrick Rose Nick jersey? I already have one. What you thought? But you don't got the new one. Yes, I do. You got the number four? Yeah. When? Macari. Download it. <laughs> I don't even think it's pronounced that, but You said Macari? It's, it's something. What Macari. is it? It's like a deep op. Oh, oh, oh. Like fake? No, it's not fake. It's like people sell their stuff on there. Like uh, Oh, uh, oh, I know Jimmy, I know Jimmy, I know Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, that's the one you told me about where I can get a camera. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. You really trust them people? I I would I not mean, do. I have to, I mean like film me like I could get my money back if they if they jit me. Oh, they do? Oh, yeah, okay, it's a okay, okay. Plan. Like, I didn't know that. I have to confirm that, that like it's good before they get paid. Mm. So, I mean, that makes sense. And I haven't I haven't been failed yet. Like I haven't been hold yet. Cuz so. I don't trust them things, bro. I wouldn't either, but you know. You just be taking risks, bro. You have to take a risk in life sometimes. I guess, I guess. But yo, you heard, you heard about the government, bro? No, Tommy's gonna tell me in the car. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The government shutting down, bro. How's the government shutting down? We don't have no more money. How we don't have no more money? That's what they said. You know what I don't get? What? So like, 
They said like like you know how he was in debt with China and he's saying we don't have no money now. Yeah. Can't they just go make some money? I guess, but like I don't think they're making enough money to bring them out of debt. I'm just saying, can't they just like make the the amount they like just go make some money? You know, I, I mean, you can't. All right, that makes sense, but like you can't make too much money because then that lose makes the value go down. All right, like that you know what sense. I'm saying. But like I'm saying, like but make enough to just pay off your you know your debts. You know, I don't think I don't that's how it works. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. I think there's rules. That makes sense what you just said though. Because like, like if the, if you make so much money, then mm-hmm. if you, everybody has that money, then like if they if that was a, if that was the case, they would have been paid up all their debts. Oh no, yeah, that makes sense. Because like I mean, people. I feel like they have to make. They only can make a certain amount of money each year. Is that people? No, I meant like the government. They only oh. can make like a certain amount of money each so year. So like, so like, what's going on with it? Since they have no more money, like, what's going on? I don't know. They just said it was going to shut down. Like, like three days ago, they said the, the government is going to shut down in two days. Oh. That's what I've supposedly heard. They said it was supposed to shut down today, but I feel like it's the same thing. I mean, you never know. I don't, th- I don't think we'll notice that the government shut down. I know, I know, I know. Until like you know, but <laughs> I be on Reddit a lot now. Like I, I, I go on Reddit for different things. What do you go on Reddit for? Yo, come on, you want to expose me, bro? No worry, we'll talk about it later, bro. I got my police hat. Porn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how. Or wait, I don't even know what you search up. I don't want to know. So and so OnlyFans link. <laughs> Whoever I'm, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, you know they're you know they're taking down OnlyFans. They they always say it. They say they pushing it back now. You know, Tiger's making his own thing. Who Tiger? I I heard he's making his own like porno page. I heard, but like who's who's, paying, who's <laughs> gonna watch Tiger? Like, nobody wants to watch. Like it's not 2013. Like nobody wants to watch Tiger do anything no more. You know? <laughs> I'm not, he did come out with a banger a couple years ago though, but like <laughs> you watched that? No, talk, no, no, talk about songs. Oh, so, oh chill, I'm chill. like what? Not watching Tiger stuff, but I'm just saying nobody want, nobody cares about Tiger no more. He, uh, I'm okay. saying he did come out with a banger like a couple years ago. Taste, taste. Yeah. Do, do, do. Is that the one with Chris Brown? Nah. What song are you talking just, about? Did yeah. you hear his, his album was pretty good? You ever heard one of his albums? Not, I don't listen to a Tiger album. You gotta listen to one of these. This shit, that joint was Rack he. City, Rack, 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 Rack City, Rack City, Rack City, bitch. I mean, yeah. it wasn't on the radio. I don't listen to Tiger if it wasn't on. The I forgot radio. what it's called, but it was a pretty good album. But, but anyways, F Tiger, all that stuff, bro. Mm-hmm. We talking about the conspiracy things. Uh-huh. So about the government shutting down, right? You know how everybody says like we live in a simulation. Yeah. Do you believe in that? No. You know I don't believe in that either, but like. I, this is what Tyrone told me. Tyrone told me like we live in a simulation because like history repeats itself all the time. Uh huh. So he says this is what this is what he told me. He told me so like back in the day. So first it will start out as like um like a Great Depression or a recession mm-hmm. something like that, and then right afterwards, either oh no, I think it's either recession or a sickness. So a sickness like a disease comes out first, mm-hmm. and a lot of people start dying. Then mm-hmm. a recession hits. Or uh-huh. depression, people have no I mean, money. That is gonna follow, though. I know. Like it's just, it's not. I don't think that's a stimulation. I think I say right, simulation. Simulation. Sim- I said stimulation. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's a simulation. It's just like, duh, you know, sickness come out, people can't work, people die. When people can't work, guess the, what? Uh, economy goes down. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's just a ripple effect. It's gonna happen. Like you know, I don't think that, that makes sense. Like I don't, I wouldn't say we live in a simulation because, like. Who do, like you know who's controlling the simulation? I don't know exactly. Like come lizard on. people, huh? Lizard people, they listen to us. Lizard people, lizard people. Oh, from we said last time, the lizard people <laughs> control. I mean, if that's the case, hey yo, do you feel me? That's tough. They just controlling us. You feel me? But and then he says something like, after recession hits, then war comes in. Just like they they start up a war, like say nine eleven uh-huh. or Pearl Harbor bombing, yeah. or so they start they spark a war. So. Americans can be like nationalists, like yay, we love America. After the recession, after they hate, a, uh-huh. after we hate the government. So you think it's a war coming? Possibly, I mean the government just shut down, so supposedly. A, so so the coming. next step is war. I'm not going. If you would watch the last podcast, I explained how I'm not going to war. I'm 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 not going. I'm not if you sure. get drafted, are you going? No, <laughs> take me to jail. I'm not going. <laughs> I don't think you can get drafted though, because I think you're you're only child. I don't think oh, only child like real? that's how it works. Yeah, I think there's a rule now. Like if you have, I don't know, it's weird. I think if you have, if you if you're only child or have, like a boy and a girl, the boy can't go to war. They won't draft him. Oh, that's tough. Because of like you know uh, Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. Something like that. 
Because you know how, like, say there's a family with, like, four boys. They can't draft all the sons. Yeah. Because that's messed up. Uh-huh. And, like, that's what happened in the movie. Like, they all died and except one of them. That's tough. So I, I'm safe then, you feel me? Hopefully, unless they freaking don't count you. I'm not going. Either way, I'm not going. You going to jail? I'm, I'll do Muhammad, I'll Muhammad Ali it. I'm going That's what happened to Muhammad Ali? Yeah, you know he went to jail for mad long? I don't, I don't know if it's mad long, but he went to jail because he didn't want to go to Vietnam or something like that. Mm. I hope Dang. I'm right. I hope I'm not just making this up. I hope I'm right. I know it was something like that, though. I know he went to jail. And then he but came out and they tried to like finish boxing and it was like, yeah, you're done. I thought he actually went to war, though. Or maybe that was somebody else. No, nah, I don't think he went I think that war. was a football player. I'm talking about the dude that died with the long hair. Mm-hmm. Looked, like, looked like my boy Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. He, I think he played on the Cardinals or something like that. Yeah. He died in war? I think so. Was it Afghanistan? I don't know. Mm. I don't remember. But yeah. But I would go to jail proudly. I'm not going to war. I would, you know why I'm not going to war? I don't think I have it in me to kill somebody. Mm, me neither. I don't like. I feel me like. I don't think I actually have it in me to like, like shoot somebody for like you know. I mean, obviously, if somebody's trying to kill me, by any means, I gotta live. You know, but yeah. Like, I don't think I can like, live I have with to that just afterwards. Have to, I just have to kill you, like. I, mean, I think I could live with it after. Like, if think, I, I think if I had to kill somebody, like, you know, I could live with it after. Like, I wouldn't care. Like, like damn, I just took a life. It's like, you know, whatever. I think I have PTSD. I wouldn't. I will just be like, damn, I did that. Not even PTSD by shooting people, just like hearing Battlefield and just like, like on the bur- the brink of almost dying. I feel like I'd die like a terrible way if I do. Like, by like Where a grenade. I'll, I'll step on a, like a landmine and just blow up. Or like I fall and like break my leg. I guess and I'm I can't clumsy get too. Like, you feel me? I'll be all. Did see it, I just get shot in the head because I'm, cause I'm, <laughs> cause I'm not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> or like, you ever seen them people that like, they get shot, shot in the head like, in and, their helmet? And then be like, oh, and then they get yeah. shot again? That'd be me. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, shoot, I got shot. And then just get sniped because I took my helmet off. Like, <laughs> I, that's that would be me. Like, that's like, traumatic though. Like, imagine you just get shot in the helmet. I'm done. I'm leaving. You know what I'm saying I'm done. I'm not, I'm, I won't come back. <laughs> I'm not, I like, will not come back. You know the you know the people that be jumping on the grenade for they like I'm not doing that, yo. No, nah, that was OD. That if like I, you. If I see a grenade, I'm running. I'm not jumping on the grenade for you. I'm like grenade. I'm running. I'm running the opposite direction. Those are running. heroes, though. I'm not a hero. Shout out to those people. Yeah, shout I out to you. I don't got that in me to do it, bro. I don't either, bro. Like, I don't got that in I me. I really to do don't. It. Like I said, I don't, really, I don't. I don't think I have it in me to really kill somebody. Like unless I really ha- like I was put in that situation where I really have to. Mm. I don't think I have it in me. Like. Like I wouldn't be traumatized. I'll just joke about it. I'll mm. cope with jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Hide my pain with, with humor. I think I have PTSD, bro. Like I'll, I'll be waking up in the middle of the night like <gasps> I'll hide my PST, my PTSD with humor too. Just joke about it. I feel like I feel like laughter is the, <laughs> the world is the world healer. I feel like if you can laugh about it, you it can, heals it heals you. It makes like, sense. Even if it's like a painful laugh, like you know. Like anything bad, you just laugh about it. Laugh it about it, yo. Yo, mm. just failed the test. Laugh about just it. Just laugh about it. It makes you feel better. Yeah, your, your dog just died. Your girl just cheated on you. Your girl just cheated on you with your best friend. Laugh about it. <laughs> you feel know I me? Mean? Like, Everybody just got to laugh now. Just la- Everybody just, be just la- two people so too damn serious nowadays, yo. Everything is so serious. Sometimes you just need to make fun of the homos and the <laughs> laugh at them. <laughs> two. Two. <laughs> Yo, he said make fun of them. I was trying. I'm sorry, mom. I I, I tried. I tried not to. I I had to get it out. I was holding it. Sometimes you just gotta make fun of the little people. Sometimes you gotta make fun of midgets. (laughs) Sometimes you just gotta make fun of midgets, yo, and laugh at them. The bums, the the homo people. Sometimes you gotta make fun of brother Lamar. Oh, chill. I love brother Lamar, bro. He crazy, yo. He scares me. He scares you. He doesn't scare me. Not okay. You don't scare me. He he just. It, I don't, it's not bothered Like I don't know It's just like He do yo, too much or he, he, yo, he prays all day He can't hurt a fly bro I know he can't But like He like, just looks like somebody a crackhead that, Somebody yo. that he, I mean he, he does look like a crackhead yeah, But somebody that prays that much they're, they're not gonna They can't hurt a fly I know Or they could just be In like a weird ritual Where they pray so much To sacrifice you to God Yeah what if he's like a cult He's in a cult Well he lives in a homeless shelter He's not in a cult bro No no you, Did the woman ever tell you the story Of what really happened to him about uh, how he's a track star runner. He was like a, a a goat. Like he was like really really good. I forgot what happened. He was like D one. He smoked some bad weed and he's been like that ever since. Oh, he got laced. Yeah, he's a great guy though. No, nah, he's nice. Like every time he sees me. So every time he sees me, I don't think like I don't think he really. Re- I think he remembers my face. But he don't know your name. He don't. No, I mean I don't know if he knows. My, he never calls me Corey. But like 
Like, he asked me where I'm, like, where I went to high school all the time. Me too. He like, where you went to high school? I say T neck. Then he goes on the spell like, okay, yeah, you went. Uh, yeah, I went to the. You played for basketball. There? I was like, yeah. They, okay, you went to uh, the championship this year. Then you went to East Orange this year, and then you did that. And you played this team here. Then you played blah 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 blah. And then he goes and talks to me about. Uh, T-neck track team And he brings up Two names all the time He loves these two girls He just I'm not gonna say their names But They got He's <laughs> like He loves He loves them so much He always talks to me about them I just be like Yeah I know This is like our Ninth time talking about it Brother Lamar Like Nah he you. does that with me too Cause he be asking me Like oh you went from Union You from Union I know people Like cause like I, I used to run track He's like do you know these people I'm like yeah, yeah. I, He loved the track He just loved He loved I think I, I think that's he his, knows I mean I guess he just be there I mean like the Or he looks it up I think the people, I mean, I'm pretty sure the people he talked to me about, I think they was pretty good. I know one of them was pretty good. So, yeah, the ones he know that like, he talked to me about, they was I know one of them for sure went D1 for track for Both moment. of them, the, the ones he's talking about, they're like siblings. They they both went oh, D1. Oh, from Union? I know yeah. one of them for sure went, went D1 for track. I think she went to Monmouth. Oh. But, like... Like he always talk like I swear it's like it's like I already know the the ritual. Like he he talks to me, he asks me where I went to high school from. He said, How you doing, young man? Hey, you know, and then if he gives me candy, I'll be afraid to eat it. What and kind of candy does he give you? I mean he gives me different candy every time. Like what was the last one he gave you? Gummy bears. But in like little packets. Oh the little where does he get that? I don't know. I'd be feeling bad because like I know where he lives at. So like I don't want to take what do you mean? Oh, you know what shelter he goes to? I don't know what shelter he goes to, but you live in a shelter, like, and you yeah, buying yeah, candy yeah, for yeah, yeah. You're buying candy for the volleyball for both volleyball teams. That's so that's so nice of him. Yeah, but he overprays sometimes. Like, I know some people don't want to hear that all the time. You, you know? know, I heard he was about to get beat up. I hope not. I'll be somebody else. I'll jump in if I see somebody about to jump brother Lamar. I'll jump in. <laughs> they said they were about to beat him up because it was a. I guess it was a Muslim guy. And he was trying to pray with him, and he was like, oh, "Bro, okay, I'm Muslim." I mean, you know, he called. Uh, I don't know if this is offensive to her, but he you know he called Sammy a dumb blonde. I remember you told me that. It was like he, oh, he was like you know you know you blondies are just you know st- st- stupid, st- stupid, <laughs> <laughs> little ditzy. <laughs> and she she was so mad at him for that. So you know I I, I could see him like saying something, not understanding or like not knowing, un, like unintentionally. But that's just how he is, bro. Yes, but brother, shout out to brother Lamar. Yeah. yeah, if you see his brother Lamar, bro, you know. Yo, you know damn well brother Lamar's not going to see this. You never but know how. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what bro. what is he watching? It Remember on? that homeless man went to data library and was watching porn. <laughs> 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 I know you remember. I was there. I seen it myself. <laughs> I think I have a picture of my phone still. How did cause yo? How did he get into the library? Nah, no. How did he get past the? Cause you know you can't really look up porn on our computers. I know. How did he get past that? Like how did he log in? <laughs> nah, that's mad funny. <laughs> like anything no. is possible, bro. Nah, that's actually hilarious. Like he did, no, bro, yo. A homeless man went into our library at school and was literally was watching, watching porn. porn. Now, I think he was on X and XX. And like looking up porn, yeah, though. I watch a lot of porn. I know what website he was on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. That joke was crazy. I was bro. there. I see. I recorded it. I was there. Oh, that was you recording it? I, I mean, I, most people have recorded it. Oh, I was okay. in the library while he was doing it. I was printing out something. I'm like, wait, hold on. I see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. like I don't know how he got past them. I don't know how either because they. I mean they they be on it now. But see if he can watch porn on in the library, I think Brother Lamar might be able to eventually. I don't think he's gonna do it anytime soon, but it might Brother happen. Brother Lamar's never gonna watch this podcast. But shout out to you, dog. I hope you. I hope you see him one day. Maybe Corey maybe, will show you. Maybe I'll show you. Yeah, maybe I'll show you at one of the games if you don't leave early. <laughs> <laughs> inside, 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 inside joke. Very inside, good inside, inside, inside joke. Inside. <laughs> Pain, you left early. You folded me, my dog. But you feel me? Yeah, I don't Hope even next, know the, the next, half of it. Next time, don't, don't please don't leave early. <laughs> I really needed to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, back on the simulation thing, bro. So you don't think we live? I don't think we live in the simulation either. But that's a good. Everybody, you know, I heard um a lot of people believe that we live in a simulation. A lot of people actually found out that we lived in a simulation. I heard, I seen something on TikTok. It was like, um, it was a girl, like a lady. She went to like a convention in uh, California. I think she was like some, she worked for the government, something like tech or something like that. And mm-hmm. she found out like, yo, we actually might be living in some type of simulation. I mean, but, but look, think about it. And she called her parents and was like, mm-hmm. yo. Like if I if I if I die, just know like you know why I died. And then she died. She died next day. 
in her car. They said she killed herself. Ooh, that's I forgot. Crazy. I seen it on TikTok. But you know, a lot of stories be made up. I know. You know. But at the same time, it's like like I see a lot of people like they say like somebody was in a coma and like they was like they was pronounced dead for a couple of minutes and they came back to life and they was like they realized like yo, we actually might be living in a simulation. I mean <laughs> it's gonna sound funny. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> when I got hit by a car, I seen Jesus. <laughs> wait, why? Wait, chill. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. The lights, the lights, the lights is bothering me. <laughs> when I got hit by a car, I see Jesus, bro, on everything. I seen a white light. It wasn't the headlights, man. It was. A, I seen a white light. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, cuz, but I, I was not expecting that. Cause I see Jesus. On my mother, I see Jesus, bro. I, <laughs> it wasn't the headlights, bro. I see that man, bro. Well, wait. I remember you told me you got hit by a car. You had a troubled life, bro. I didn't have a trouble. I had a great life. You have a great life, but you had a lot my of mother, bumps. My mother loved me. My father loved me. <laughs> but my grandmas a... loved me. Bumps across the road, but I had you a great life. You bro. seen Jesus, I, bro? I seen Jesus, bro. I was in seventh grade. I seen Jesus. Was I in seventh grade? I was in seventh or eighth grade. How, wait, how'd the car hit you? Like full on? Oh, so I was. So it was me and my boy Darius. We call him not Darius. Darius. We call him oh. school. We was walk, it was like nine o'clock, nine thirty. We was walking to Seven Eleven. You feel me? It was bright. I mean, it was late, so you know. We walked to Seven Eleven. As we we were struggling, we was eating the Seven Eleven pizza. Nah, you know? everybody. Yo, me and, and my boy Ish. There. We all been there, you know. Bruh. So, After the YMCA, that shit was lit. So we walked down there. So if you know, if you're familiar with Englewood, Rock Creek, it's like you go past the basketball court, you go straight down. It's a Seven Eleven right before you hit Route Four. Oh, it was on Englewood. Englewood, yeah. Oh, okay. So we get all our stuff, yo. We get all our stuff. I got a basketball in this hand. The dude gave me. I, I bought one box of pizza. The dude gave me four, bro. Four boxes. Four boxes. I bought one. He gave me four. Cause he's like, yo, this is getting old. We about to make a new batch. Like here. That's love. You feel me? Had a basketball in his hand with the big gulp. The pizza's right here. We put a bag of chips, the bag of chips on top of it, mm-hmm. on top of the boxes. We crossing the street, right? So I'm I'm on this side of the street. I'm on this side of the street. Darius, Scoop, I'm calling him Scoop because I keep saying Darius now. I can't say Darius no more. I always say Darius. I'm glad you say my name right because a lot of, only the real ones say my name right. Nah, like I can't say Darius no more. Like I always <laughs> say Darius. No more. I can't say I can't say Darius. <laughs> so my boy Scoop, right? He was on the other side. I swear to God, we was like maybe like a foot away from the cross, like the sidewalk. The car, he had to be driving. Like he came out of nowhere. Like we like we looked both ways, and then we start crossing. He came out of nowhere, yo. And the car just smacked us, and I just all I remember is going over the hood. I no, I, see, I remember the, the headlights going over the hood, seeing Jesus waking up to all my pizza on the floor, like out the box, everything on the floor. My big gulp is all over the place, and my <laughs> chips landed perfectly in the grass, like just perfectly, like they, they they sat up like sat upright, just perfectly. In what the happened grass. to your boy? Is he good? Oh, so, <laughs> so I finally, like, I don't know if I passed out or what. Cause, like, I was on the ground for, like, a good couple of seconds. I don't know what happened. But, like, I look over, and he's just on the hood like this. <laughs> <laughs> Laying out on the hood. Was it a, like, what kind of car was it? Like, a little one? It was, like, a, it was a truck. Like, not a big truck. Like, I don't even know. Like, bro. those, um... Those mom cars, like a like a Jeep, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Like a, like a, but a small, not, not not as big as a Jeep, but like a Jeep. Like like a like a mom van. It wasn't a van though. Like it a, was like a like was, you know them little dad cars. Like it's like like two in the front and then like three seats in the back. Something like that. Yeah, something SUV like that. type. Something yeah, but it wasn't big though. But it was like medium sized car. Yeah, a medium sized car. It okay. wasn't a truck, but it wasn't like a it wasn't a car. It was like a, a something. So, like I said, I look over. He just laid out on the hood like this. I re- I believe he didn't get hit. I believe I got hit, and then he jumped on the hood to get some money. That's what I think. What did happened. you get bread? My mom got the money. I didn't get it. I was too young to get, yeah, get yeah. the money myself. But he got more money than me. Who? My my boy Scoop. Really? How much money? How much money your mom got? I was told we got six hundred dollars. I don't know how much. That's got. it. Yeah, that's what I was told though. Nah. I think she lied Bro, to me. <laughs> yeah, she definitely lied to me. I think she you. lied to me, but I was told we had six hundred dollars. He got like four thousand. Yeah, from he, what he told me, he de- they definitely lied to you. I think my mom lied to me. You might have got ten k, bro. You just seen. Guess Jesus. what? She she paid it off. So if she lied to me, she gave she put it in goodwill. Okay, okay, but okay. 
I think she lied to me because she said I had six hundred dollars. He told me he had like four K. I was like, no way. But <laughs> also, so when I got hit, like I got I got right up. Like I was hurt, but like I didn't like I was acting like I wasn't hurt. Like even in the hospital, I was acting like no, I'm like I'm good. Like like me. were you hurting though? My arm was hurt. I booked. I, I I cracked the windshield of my elbow. My side was hurting. That it was weird. I got hit on this side, but this side hurt. So I think when I fell, I don't know, bro. Like I don't know how. Like to, which which elbow did you hit the windshield? So with? I got hit on this. So I hit the the end the, the elbow with this elbow. The windshield with this elbow. Yeah. But I got hit on this side, like on this hip. I got hit on this hip. Uh-huh. But this hip hurt. That's I don't weird. know. I don't know why, but this hip hurt. This I didn't feel nothing from this hip. You was on the windshield when you woke up. No, when I woke up, I was on the ground. So you might have fell on the ground really hard, maybe. But I felt, but like I, I didn't like, I opened my eyes. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't knocked out for that long. I, like I said, like I said, I hit the, I, I seen the white lights. I flipped over the car and I seen Jesus and woke up. <laughs> and then <laughs> I'm making sure, I'm telling you, I seen Jesus, but me and him dead had a conversation. I seen, I seen my boy, yo, yo, and what you call it, like, and it's just like in the, describing the Bible. He's black. Jesus is black, yo. We mean black, like light skinned? No, he's black. He's he's a dark skinned man, yeah. Yeah, here, here for yeah, we about to get the like, government to call us, bro. Jesus is black. I'm oh, I have you. another thing about that when you're doing your story. So so what you call it? I get up finally. I'm like, dang, yo. Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so I woke over. So every time I said my my pizza, I'm like, the first thing I looked at was my pizza. I That's was, the one thing you thought I was about? sick, bro. I'm like. My pizza, yo. <laughs> and then I looked at my chips. I'm like, all right, my chips made it. So I went to grab my chips. So I'm, I'm like, I limped over to see if my boy Darius was good. I'm not gonna lie, he just stayed on the hood like this, yo. He did not move, yo. Wait, who was it? Like a, a old guy that hit you? Listen, you're, you're, it was your people that hit me. Oh, Asian dude. <laughs> so the dude got the car. He goes, Oh my God, I'm, I know, see you. You, you wear a, a buck. Saying, trying to say black. I was going on buck. <laughs> I had a Nets. I had a Nets shirt on when Brooklyn Nets just first got to yeah, the Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. I had a Brooklyn Nets shirt on and some Adidas pants. I remember. I remember my fit. <laughs> yeah, I wearing, you were all buck. I know. See you. You, you were no. You were all buck. But in the meantime, like he has a black poodle in his hand, like a little, like, like a little, little the, dog, a little dog with a black. Like so, I'm like, I'm looking at him like, you have a black dog in your hand. Like what you mean? Like <laughs> you was just wasn't driving. Nigga. Like you feel me? <laughs> So I, I'm like, I'm, but I guess I'm telling you how I'm like, well, I, we were so close to the sidewalk. Like if I would have fell, my face would have been in the grass. Like that's how close we were to the sidewalk. Oh, like, so he was just like bending the corner. I, he had to be like, I don't, I really don't, I don't like, I don't, I didn't think about it too much when I was that young, but like, that's crazy. I was, we were so close to the sidewalk. So some dude, some dude, so I'm, I'm walking, I'm trying to walk it off. Like I'm really, I'm really not that hurt. I'm just like, I'm hurt, but like, I'm not like, like, like I need to go to the hospital. Yeah, type I'm, hurt. Hurt, I'm hurt. Like damn, I need some ice hurt. I know what you mean. So I'm trying to walk it off. Cause I'm like, it did hurt at first. I was, yeah, yeah. Hurt. I'm trying to walk it off, and you feel me? Some dude just come running from all the way, like from like past the Seven Eleven. He has my basketball, like chase me down, like yo, 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 sit down, sit down, don't move, don't move, don't move. Yo, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Yo, you bugging right now? Sit down. Meanwhile, my boy is still in the hood of the car, bro. <laughs> is he knocked out? No, he's playing dead, bro. <laughs> Nothing was wrong with him, yo. So. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, he, so he like, he sits me down, and I'm like, yo, I'm like, I'm good. He's like, yo, yo, call your dad, call your, call your, call your parents. So, fine, I'm like, oh, let me call my dad. This is exactly how I said it. I said, yo, I said, daddy, I got hit by a car. <laughs> he was like, what? I was like, that's not even the worst part. He goes, what's the worst part? Are you like, what, what's the worst part? Like he's freaking out. I said, I dropped all my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the one thing you was worried about when you bro, got. Bro, I was hungry, bro. <laughs> Yo. So, so he was like, "Wait, what?" Like, he, like he's tight. I'm like, "Wait, he's like you playing with me? That's not a joke." I'm like, "No, nah, I'm serious. I got hit by a car. I'm by Seven Eleven. Like, I just got, I just got hit by a car." But you dropped your pizza. But I, I didn't repeat that. Like, I seen the, I seen the tone in his voice. Oh, I'm like, okay, okay, right, okay. I'm not, okay. not going to say it again. He goes like, "I'm joking." I said, "Nah, we got hit by a car. I'm by the Seven Eleven. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. He hung up the phone. <laughs> I swear he was in there in five seconds. <laughs> he was in the house though. He got there in five seconds. Literally, he hung up the phone. I looked to I looked, he was there, bro. <laughs> the dude was trying to talk. I don't know who this dude is. Dude tried to talk to me, try to make sure I'm good. I'm like, yo, I'm fine. Like, I just want to go home. Like, and like, no, 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 you have to get in the ambulance. You have to so they, the ambulance came. And my dad, my dad, I, I think they my they what you call it. Did we get me and my boy got me and my boy got in the same ambulance? But like, so my dad met us at the hospital. He didn't get in the ambulance. So he, so we in the two different hospital rooms though, so I'm sitting in the hospital room. So we sitting in the ambulance. He's like, 
Like he's trying to like make sure the ambulance is trying to make sure I'm good. He's trying to like look at my, look my eyes. And, yeah. yeah, I'm like, I'm fine, yo. So he's like, What's your favorite sports team? <laughs> I said, The Knicks. He said, You're not fine. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, you're not fine, yo. Keep checking. <laughs> I think he was joking, but he still checked me again after I said that. And he said, all right, what's your favorite baseball team? I said, the Yankees. He was like, check him again. <laughs> so that was pretty funny when he did that. Then we get in the hospital. You feel me? I'm, I'm like, I was in the hospital for mad long. Word. I was mad, though, because after we left the hospital, so, he, so my boy's acting like he's hurt. I'm saying I'm fine. Yeah. He got the hospital two hours before me, bro. I'm sitting in the hospital like, yo, I want to go home, yo. He got out before you? He got out two hours before me, bro. I watched him walk past. Like, all right, yo, I'm still in the hospital for an extra two hours. And I'm the one that was acting like I was fine. <laughs> so, yeah, that's when I met Jesus, though. Oh, my gosh. I met Jesus when I got... That's the that's the whole point of the story. That's when I met Jesus. You met Jesus. So, you said Jesus is black, right? Jesus is black, yo. Well, I, I read something on Reddit because it was talking about like... Hair like wool, skin like brass. I think that's what it said in the Bible. Mm. Maybe. That's what exactly what he looked like. Everybody depicts that he's a white guy. Nah, he's from black. Africa. He's black. He's from Africa. Well, I believe you now. But they said, so they was talking about how you die, right? On Reddit. And, the, and somebody said, so uh, whatever you believe in, like say you believe in heaven, when you die, that's where you're going to go. Okay. So like say you believe you're going to go, like so say you believe in reincarnation, uh-huh. then you're going to reincarnate because like that's what your mindscape is. I mean, I believe that. Yeah, I believe that. I feel like, cause, like Muslims believe in Allah. Yeah, and other religions believe in other things. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm obviously like, we all don't go to the same God. Exactly. But we all go to the same place when we die, though. I believe that. Mm-hmm. But it's not all the same God, though. So like I it's believe, not all the same. It's so different I, perspective. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's just you know, God is whoever we believe is to be. Yeah, because people and say when we die, I feel like God just. Like you know, make us give us that image of what we believe he mm. is. That he is because God is all being. Yeah. See, I went to I went to Catholic school. I know you went to Catholic school. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. I, I I got I got a thing about all that stuff, but I don't want to get. They hated me in Catholic school. I asked too many questions, and I doubted God too much. See, I don't want to talk. I don't want to get into that because. I got a lot of things, but I'm gonna get into that eventually. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll be the, I'll be back. I wasn't supposed to be back this early, but I'll be back. Nah, you'll be back for that because eventually I'm gonna get into like that's that's a that's a really hard subject that people's not gonna. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's it's just the, it's the really it's things you're really not supposed to talk about, and like it's like I like it's, it's really say in jail, but like you don't like that's not a good conversation starter. It's politics and religion. Yeah, but yeah, they was talking about some. So whatever you believe in your mind is that's what you're gonna be in when you die. Mm-hmm. I believe that. That's a that's a that's a good explanation. I believe that. Yeah, and like because some people say like we live in a simulation, so when you die, you just restart, and that's why we have deja vu. I don't believe that though, because like I said, I think we talked about this last last podcast. Yeah. So what if I die right now, right? Mm-hmm. And you die in fifty years or thirty years, right? Yeah. My life's gonna restart. Without me in it, without you in it, that's my point. Yeah, so am I restarting a whole different life? I don't know. And do I die, do I die at the same time each time? Like that don't make like I, that's why I don't believe that. Yeah, that's not, that doesn't think, make sense. Yeah, like this, you know. I think that's kind of that's kind of walky, that's but I don't think that makes sense. No, nah, but the simulation, like you know, how people think we live in the Matrix and shit. Yeah. You ever watch the Matrix movie? Of course. That still confuses me a little bit. Like I have to watch it numerous amount of times like do you not understand this matrix movie i watch it for entertainment not to understand it like i tried like okay so i watched it one time with my my friends and we was watching it and it basically what i got out of it is that there's a the matrix is what the people it's like people could go in and out of the matrix Mm -hmm. and the matrix is like a whole nother world that controls the real world yeah and like those people in the matrix have like powers and shit like that You you watch rick and morty yeah it's like the uh, the time police, the yeah, yeah, the yeah, ball sacks that came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, it's like them, yo. I like Rick and Morty. I love Rick and Morty. Like, I think that's a good show. I, I was talking to UJ about that one. Uh, there was an episode where Rick and Morty was, um, or Rick, he he was driving his car or a spaceship, uh-huh. and his battery died, and he had a whole civilization, a civilization and living battery, in, living, in, and they didn't uh-huh. they didn't know there was in a battery. Uh-huh. And I was thinking like, what if that's and us? then there was and there was somebody smarter in the battery. Yeah, and yeah, that was a good episode. I was thinking and like, what if that's us? The whole time, uh, what's the girl's name? I forgot what it is. Uh, Come on, you can't do that to her. I f- I be I only just started watching Rick and Morty. Damn, what's her name, yo? I really don't know. I gotta find out her name. Netflix. Summer, summer. 
Her name is Summer. <laughs> but Summer was just the the the, the, uh, the 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 car was killing everybody for some. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That one, that one, that one. That was, I remember that one. Like she was like stuck in it, and uh-huh. she that car was just murking Murdered everybody. everybody. And like funny. she didn't know how to stop it. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. But yeah, going on shows. You you watched um you ever watched you you watched uh Black Mirror right? Yeah. Did you watch all the episodes? I watched a lot of the first like couple, not the new season. I watched a lot of the first couple. Me seasons. too. Do you like what? Which one was your favorite episode that you remember? It's been a minute since I watched Black Mirror. Yeah. I only watched it because, you know, never mind. I only watched it to get close to somebody else. But my favorite episode is the one. Do you remember the one? Where they had the cameras in their eyes. Yeah, when they had um, they could record everything. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite episode. That would be so tough in the real world. Remember you but, and then like she, he found out her his girl was cheating on him. Uh huh. And he was like, play, play back in your mind. Let me see yeah. that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's my favorite. That was my favorite episode. But my favorite episode was when it was like a girl, and she wakes up and like mm-hmm. a guy's trying to kill her. Mm. A guy's trying to kill her, and she's getting chased by that guy, and everybody's just walking around with their phones, like recording it. Mm. And like she's like, "Why are you guys not helping me? What's going on?" And then, and then these two people be like, "Come on, come here, I, I'll save you." And then like they're the, those two people are the only ones that's helping her. And then <clears throat> they bring her to like the guy's still chasing after her and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and all these people. And then the people around her are still holding the phones, like recording, and not doing a single thing. And then they they go to this building. And then the guy tied her up and put her out on a stage. And, and then a talk show comes out. He's like, oh, how you like your experience? And so basically, and what the the girl wakes up, she doesn't remember a thing. But all she sees is a picture of her and her husband and a little girl. So she thinks that little girl is her daughter. And she's trying to find, like, where's my daughter? I don't know where my daughter's at. But really, that her and her boyfriend kidnapped the, the girl and murdered her. And her punishment was that she was reliving... She was gonna relive being chased and kidnapped for the rest of her life. So basically, she would just literally get her mind erased at mm-hmm. the start and then wake up and relive the same traumatic moment that she did to that little girl, oh, okay. which was basically getting kidnapped and chased uh-huh. while everybody's just watching her and she okay. doesn't understand. And she gets that continuously. So I'm what wa- I'm, I'm gonna watch the episode tonight. That's pretty good. But what I want to ask you is: so say you commit a crime, uh-huh. would you rather go to jail, like? Solitary confinement for the rest of your life, or your punishment is you have to relive the same day of you getting hunted down for 25 years. So every single day, you're gonna get hunted down in a simulation, like they just keep erasing your mind, and you're just gonna get or or go to solitary, solitary confinement for life. All right, I'll say you, you could be in the I say for life, yeah. So I'm gonna get out after 25 years. So I do yeah. 25 years, and so do I get to control myself in a simulation, like or like I have to be scared. I mean, you you will never know you're in it. Like you keep getting your mind erased. What if I'm just a gangster? And don't care. If I'm just a gangster and kill the dude, each simulation, you know, you never know. You feel I like? mean, yeah, you could keep trying, but like yeah. I don't think it's gonna get to that point. I'll just do the simulation. You know? I won't know. You know, I just think I think I think I'm living a regular day every day. So what if the simulation was for the rest of your life? I'll do solitary confinement. Solitary, like you just can't keep really, like imagine reliving the same day that's over and over again. It's like Groundhog Day. Have you seen that movie? No, that's a movie. Yeah. So what is it about? It's a comedy though, so it's not. Oh scary. wait, wait, wait! With I think Bill I, Murray. Uh, who's Bill? I, I don't know actors' names. Ghostbusters. I need to I see. I hate a, you. <laughs> I need to see a picture. I hate you. Ever watch Zombie Land? Yeah. That guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like I don't know actors' names. It's not like he's not a star. Like it was, a, it was the dude they killed by accident when they went in to his Zombie house. Land. Yeah, when they went to his house. Oh, oh, like he because he thought he was a zombie. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know that guy. That's Bill Murray. Oh, okay, but so if you're in that thing for life, you're taking solitary yeah. confinement. Honestly, what you just told me, I think I'll keep reliving the same day over and over again, and like well, hopefully could, kill one of them. Because like you could just be some, be something different. Not for the rest of my life though. Like. I like was, I feel like eventually after I'd rather, just, I'd rather just be go crazy than be by myself than just do that every day. But like you'll never know. I mean, what's my crime though? Uh, if I stole the candy bar, I could do that for the rest of my life. Or I'm a pedophile. Oh, I don't even want to relive that. I don't want to be. I don't even want that to be the scenario. That's crazy. That's a bad one. Yeah, <laughs> that's <no>. a bad <laughs> one. Did you watch the episode where th- we're really spoiling the hell out of this? But I don't even yeah. care. There was an episode where you had to watch something. I think it was a. Prime Minister of 
This is the first episode where he got he had to rape the pig. Yes, that was the first episode. Yes, I thought so. I remember when I first started watching Black Mirror, I thought that it was like a, a reoccurring show. Yeah, so the next me episode, too. I'm like, all right, where's the dude that got had to rip the pig? Yeah, I'm like, wait, I didn't know every episode. Is yeah, something every different. episode is different. Yeah, what would you do in that situation? Either well, I forgot what did he do that was that bad. You had to because they 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 um kidnapped the princess and they oh, was gonna kill her. I'm not gonna lie, you gonna let her die. I'm not fucking a pig, bro. <laughs> that was OD. <sighs> one, a pig's not going to let you do that. That's one. Like, that's not realistic. A pig is not going to let you do that. I know. But I'm not having sex with a pig. On live television. Yeah, that's crazy. And, it, and all that, just because they, they let her go anyway. I know. So he did it for no reason. No reason at all. They, like, he, she was basically, like, out, I assume, like, before. Yeah. They, they just never looked at They never went to go look because they was all watching him. So if, he would, if, if he would have backed out, she would have been free. Anyway. On God, like if you would have been like nah, I, but and it, I don't know. There's no way I, I have to take every pill in the world to even you know <laughs> be able to do that, bro. Like he couldn't even look at himself no more. His wife couldn't know, look at him. Right? His, His wife, wife was so mad. His wife was mad at him. I mean, he did save the princess, but like you know, <laughs> she like I could never do nothing with you again. Like you just you raped the pig. <laughs> you raped literally raped the pig, bro. Like they tried to. They try to make somebody else do it and put his face on it. I know. I mean, imagine you're that guy. Yeah, no. Nah. You can't pay me enough money in the world to do that, John. Hell no. I'm a, I'm, I might off myself after I do it. <laughs> I break the pig. Bam. Like, literally everybody was watching. Everybody was watching. And the princess was just walking, walking in the street. In the street. That was a finesse. I'm not going to lie. That's a great finesse. Oh, my gosh, bro. But I thought it was... I was I'm like, all right, now what's going to happen to this dude again? I never, happened, never found out what happened to him. <laughs> Yo, that's funny as hell. But back on like that stuff, I have another thing. Would you rather read people's minds or erase them? Have the ability to see. So I don't really do much to have like, to read somebody's mind. No, I don't do like that much messed up things that would. Have oh, to, to erase somebody's yeah, mind. Yeah, like I don't like I don't do anything. That's kind of evil. I only said or, that. Like I feel like if I did like I had the power to erase people's minds, you wouldn't. I would do just it. do. It. I would just do messed up things. Like I steal from them and then erase their mind. They wouldn't know I stole from them. <laughs> I would just do mischievous things because I can erase your mind. That's how I'd you, rather read it. You rather read it? Yeah. I feel like if you like for me, I think I'd rather read it too. But like erasing somebody's mind, you have a lot of power. That's what I'm saying. Like you could, you know how much you could do. You, you could erase somebody's mind. Like like what if what if we get our minds erased by watching some certain shows? That's what I'm saying. Oh, certain shows. Like, like imagine just, like I remember everything. Damn, like I wouldn't know if I remember like you would never that. know. Like imagine, all right. So imagine something happened in the government, like something big happened in the world. Like mm-hmm. I don't know, freaking somebody exposed the government, and, and then, like we seen it on TV, and they erased our minds, and then they played something on TV, erased everybody's yeah. minds, and we never know. That'd be tough. I, I mean, they say that, that, mean, ma- that means somebody has to know though, because it's people that don't watch TV, don't look at their phones. I know. I mean, somebody has to remember. What that. if those, those those are the crazy people that we look at, like yo, you crazy as hell. That's tough. Like those people that we think they're like crazy mm-hmm. and deranged. Like like those people that be in like the centers, they be shouting out like, yo, the the government is a lie. Like don't ever trust them. Like, all this, that, and the third happened. We just look at him like, don't mind him. He's a crazy person. Like what if he's the one that didn't watch the TV? That's crazy. Like my Uncle Fruit Nut. Who? Uncle Fruit Nut. Fruit Neck? Un- Uncle Fruit Nut. Fruit Nut? Yeah. He's I, a- didn't, I never knew him. My dad always tell me stories about him. Just being, mm. being on the avenue just... Spurring out crazy things. My I, dad was ashamed of like ashamed of being his, uh, his cousin. Like, yeah, or was it brother cousin? cousin? Something like that. I think it was his cousin, but they called him Uncle Fruit Nut. <laughs> so like, what what would he do? Just like he'll go to like you know the little pole like the the meters. Yeah, he'll go in the meter like he just takes a microphone and just say whatever he wants. What? Saying he'll say some things. He'll just you never know what he's gonna say out his mouth. I never met him though. I wish I did. Mm. Sound like a cool guy. I mean, he had a red afro, I heard. Like, really? He sound like a cool guy. So, back on the uh, erasing your mind thing. People say that... So, imagine like our minds got erased from a big catastrophe that happened. But, like, only a certain amount of people that didn't, maybe didn't watch TV that day, they, they talk about it. And, like, they, the government don't care about those people because, like, with a majority of people, like, don't think it's true, then they don't, they're not going to care. They're just going to think you're crazy. But uh-huh. what if he's really telling the truth? Like I said, it's tough. Like, like just you? imagine that's you. <laughs> tough. I'm the crazy person? Yeah, like, that's so frustrating. I'm not going to lie. It'll be to the point where I just be like, all right, I know what I know. I'm just going to give it to myself. Yeah, I know. You're but right? you know people don't care. You know, there's know. some people like that that's like that. I'll be like, yo, I'll tell you if you believe me. Like, I'll tell you about like, pigeons. Though. Like, I, 
They're not real, yo. Like I, got, I tell you it. You could think I'm crazy, or you could keep it, or whatever. You just keep it moving. Yeah, you know I me mean? think I'm crazy or keep it moving, but I ain't gonna be that crazy person. Like I'm gonna just say what I believe in and keep it pushing. <laughs> I'm the type of person that you think I'm joking. All the, everything I say, you probably think I'm joking anyway. So that's a fact. You either think I'm joking or you think I'm serious. Exactly. Either way, I said what I said. Facts, facts. Like people say, the people like the men and black people. They said they're. Mm-hmm. There's a theory that they say that they're, they're real. real. They probably yeah. are real. Maybe we never know. We'll never know. That's what I'm saying. We'll never know if they're real because they erase our minds. Unless they unless they get recruited, yo, y'all real. Come on, <laughs> I, I got nothing. I got nothing to live for. <laughs> Come on, hit me up, y'all. <laughs> they they recruit you to be a CIA. Do you nah, think? Do you think with the aliens? Oh, do, I mean that. I feel like CIA was part of that. Who I mean, there's a different. I feel like there's branches in the CIA. Uh, alien branch. Yeah, there's an extraterrestrial <laughs> UFO thing like that. Probably. I mean. Do you think you could be like that? Like, if right now they called you up, would you do it? But you can't say a say a word to a soul. Well, I can't say it, but I could, like you will still see me though. Yeah, I, still I know see men you. in black. You know, you like they're like they're they're don't, normal people. They don't know. They don't exist no more. What do you mean? In, like the movie Men in Black. Yeah. Like, no. Oh, like they're ghosts. Yeah, they're ghosts. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghosts. No, I mean like. So I could, I could, I could still talk to you. You're I still just, your normal life, but you're a CIA agent like Perry the Platypus. Oh yeah, I wouldn't tell nobody. Okay. I could keep that myself. I could keep a secret. Mm. You feel me? I don't know if I can because I'll be too tempted. Like, uh, but you're you're telling you're telling her immediately. Oh yeah, I'm telling Jay immediately. immediately. You're about to kill me. If anything happens, write to Jay. I'm sorry, you're Jay. If I die, just know blah 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 blah. blah aliens are real. Uh huh. Damn. Because you ever watch a uh, Suicide Squad? Uh huh. Put that thing in my brain. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this crazy. that actor Viola Davis. I love her in every other movie she's in. I hate her in Suicide Squad. She makes me hate her in that when, movie. What she play? Harley. She plays Harley no. Quinn? She plays the girl, the lady that blows it up. Oh, I oh, yeah. hate her. I love her in every other movie. She's just so sweet in every other movie. And in Suicide Squad, I hate her. That's a good actor though. She's a great actor. Like if you like, I feel like a good actor. If they can make, if you can have feelings towards that actor, like you could, re- like you really hate them, mm-hmm. like or God, you really like love them. Godfrey, you ever watched Game of Thrones? No, I haven't watched Game of Thrones. No yet. point. But somebody's gonna understand what I'm saying. Godfrey. King, I think it's King Godfrey. Mm-hmm. I think he's probably saying his name wrong. King Godfrey from Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know you hated him. <laughs> like he was the worst. I like if I see him a person, I still might slap him. Like I hated him in Game of Thrones. He was terrible. Like he was a terrible person. But he's a great actor though, because like he really made me hate him as a person. Like if you're a good actor and you make me like, there's a lot of actors. Like I watch movies or shows that mm-hmm. like if I see them in real life, I'm gonna hate them. But mm-hmm. that's not them. That's some good acting. That's what I'm saying. But I forgot there, what, what movie. There's one specific actor that I really hate, and I can't remember what movie it was from. I don't know. I hate. It's like she's. This is one girl. She's all. In, she's in all the Tyler Perry's movies. She played in Daddy's Little Girls, the mother from Daddy's Little Girls. I hate her in every movie she's in. Like she's just like she's like I just hate her. I hate her so much. She played in Daddy's Little Girl. She's the mother. I don't know her name. Mm. I hate her in every movie she's in. Like she just makes me want to just punch her in the face. <laughs> if y'all don't know, bro, if you want some good movies to watch, watch Old Boy. Watch The Circle on I Netflix. Oh, that guy at the end was fucked up. You remember the guy? What happened at the end? Yeah, I he watched, was fucked. I up. watched the review and then made me watch it. I was like, oh, this movie's kind of good. That was the he fin. He's he's tough for that though. I respect him for that, but that was kind of fucked up. Good movie. It was a good movie. The Circle. And go in the basement if y'all ever want to watch ever, a movie. If you ever watch a, if you want to cry, if you like, if you like dogs and you want to cry, watch Hachi. Saddest, Hachi. Hachi, it's called Hachi, a dog's tale. Saddest movie ever. Sad, sadder than Marley and Me. Yes. Really? Way sadder than Marley and Me. I like, cried I, than Marley I, and I Me. Bawled, I, I, me too. But I bald eyes watching. Uh, isn't Hachi? Is it the same dog you got? Yes. Okay, that's why. I, I, I just understand. wanted to hug Bishop after. <laughs> oh, Gone Girl is pretty good too. If y'all ever watch Gone, you ever watch Gone Girl? No. Watch that movie. It, that's movies with but, Ben Affleck, I think. Uh, no, wait. wait. Yeah, I think Ben Affleck. Right. Now you know who Ben Affleck is. Now I'm, you just want to watch all his movies. Hell yeah. But I got another thing, bro. I mm-hmm. want to talk about... Going past the conspiracies, bro. Now we're going to talk about real life situations, bro. Got you. So, Bones. imagine you're a father, right? hmm And your daughter has a boyfriend. Okay. What is a, what is like a, a disrespectful thing they could do that's not really disrespectful to them? One thing mm. I think, bro, low-key... 
is if he takes a shit in my crib and that shit is <laughs> crazy, bro. <laughs> like, you did that before. I did. <laughs> bro, I felt so. Every time I take a. Take I'm like, a I don't sh- think that's disrespectful, though. I just think, like, damn, this nigga just took a, a dump in my crib. Like, imagine. <laughs> like, like the first. Okay, the first meeting. Bro. Oh, that's crazy. First that's meeting cra- crazy. That, that, if you gotta go, you gotta go. You feel me? <laughs> but first meeting is crazy, though. Like, he just off the rip felt mad comfortable just to lay one down in my, in my, in my, in my bathroom, I feel bro. Like, I feel like the innocent, you know, goodbye. You just kiss my daughter in front of me. Oh. That's going to hurt me. Like That's going to be like, oh. Damn. That's going to hurt me. Like, <laughs> damn, yo. My. Like, that's my like, my little girl. Like, just, Yeah, just. just. <laughs> so if you, you, was, you was bold enough to do that in front of me, what, what, you, what you do when you're not with me? <laughs> that's bad. That's like, I'm like, hold on, hold on, brother. Brother man. Yo. You wild You wild Don't do that in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, like, if you took a shit, that's, that's, that's clean. Like, just, I like, just make fun of, like, like, like see I just make fun of him now like now you like, I would too now you just now I'm just about to make fun of you like you, you just know? like you just yeah. like like that's like a dog like you just march your territory yeah, in my crib saying, yo. like now I'm about to make fun of you like now every time I see you you, you shit boy <laughs> <laughs> like baby, I can't make fun of you because you kiss my daughter like what I'm gonna say yeah like, like damn, you, you, just, you, you just, a kissy boy you just asserted your dominance over me <laughs> <laughs> that's OD now I didn't even think about the kissing like, like I don't think people that's max if you do that in front of like some like somebody father like you kiss your girl. I mean, I mean like it people depends. do when you're older. Yeah, when you're older, like, but not like sixteen. Six, I'm slapping you. You're That's not kissing, you're like, not you kissing can't my sixteen year old daughter in front of me. You're nah, bro. That. Like all right. So say your daughter brings home a boy. What are you doing? Are you are you one of those parents that's gonna press him? I want I want it. Nah, just tell me everything, yo. I don't care. I think like I be I saying. Feel, I feel like if, like the more strict you're gonna be, the more like you feel me. Now she's gonna be sneaky. I rather I rather know. That she's out. That we, I'd rather know what she's doing than just like <laughs> have to like find out. You know, like, like I'd rather walk just, like, in on some weird. Yeah, walk in or just find out I hope or I like, never have me to find walk something. In. And, like, I'd rather just I I know what you're doing. So like, if I catch you, I'm not gonna be like, you know, Damn. <laughs> cry slowly. I'd rather just, <laughs> just, just tell me. I really won't even. You no, know, I mean like like not as like like strict, but I mean like as funny. Like like mess with them a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm a joke with them. Like yeah, you know? I, like with my little sister, if she ever bring a boy home. Oh my god! You're supposed to do that as a brother, though. Yeah, it's like, gonna be fun. You're supposed to do that as a brother. I'm like, waiting for the day. I I, I can't wait for the day. But I know my my little cousin. Did she ever bring a boy home? It's, yeah. Like so you ever look at? I mean, we. T- but like, I remember she had like a stalker one time. You told me that. That was yeah. mad weird. Like you ever watch? You know Roblox, right? Mm-hmm. There was a boy in her class that kept like DMing her on, on Roblox, Roblox, and she <laughs> wanted like, 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 is that what is that what y'all kids do nowadays, bro? Is that the the like like is that how you back, bro? Not the DM on Roblox. You like, crazy? <laughs> like that's OD, not bro. Not the DM on Roblox. Like that's she crazy. would hit her, he would hit her up on Roblox all the time and just like kill her. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's OD. Like what he does. That's OD, yo. Like, that's your way of flirting. It was COVID, probably, wasn't it? During COVID? It was. It was like before, right? Right before. No, 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 no. It was. It was. See, it was, was during. That's people lost their social skills, bro. Like she, t- like she told Roblox. the guidance counselor, like. He kept oh, killing me on bad? Oh my god, that's actually hilarious, yo. That's actually pretty fucking funny. Shout out to you, Libby. You know I got you. Protect that yeah. as always. I got my members with me. If I if I if I remember alone, bro, just know Corey pulling up too, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. But yeah. another thing I thought about, I don't think it's that disrespectful. Like, what if I say, because <laughs> I've done this before, like take a shower in in the crib and use your clothes. Like use my clothes? Yeah, like a shirt. <laughs> oh no, nah, that's O D. <laughs> Why was you in my closet? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like say, like I. Right, so there was one time, right? I think me and Jay, we was just like we was outside in the court, and I, I had nothing to uh-huh. wear. And I was like, and like in my bathroom, I had to. Clean, I was like, I didn't have no shower. I didn't want to go in my parents' bathroom and yeah. wake him up. So I like I took a shower in her house, and like I didn't have no shirt. So I guess she gave me her dad's shirt and like some oh, shorts. Oh no. <laughs> Give me back my shit. <laughs> like, like, take off. I don't get. I don't care if you hear butt naked. Give me my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, yo? Like, imagine like your daughter, your daughter's boyfriend taking a shower in your crib. And you just see his clothes. Like he's that. Like he no, he's like that comfortable. Like taking a shower in your crib. You don't have to be that comfortable with me. I I'm gonna have, have to like you a lot for you to take a shower in my crib. Yeah. I, I'd be afraid to. Like Jay, I wouldn't do it if I was you. Like, Even to this day, I still wouldn't do it. I won't do it. Like I don't take showers unless they're like sleep. I want to take a shot. Yeah, I wouldn't do it either. Like, if they sleep, I want to take a poop unless they, they sleep either. Like I try, yo, I try not to. I will they, hold it. They they call me they they call me doodoo boy. Uh, I be taking shits a lot. Nah, I, I would I would hold it to his turtle head. 
<laughs> so if I'm unless I'm turtle head, I'm holding it. Wait, what's turtle head? Like That's it's when it's like it's, it's coming poking out. out? Yeah, it's coming Ew. out. Like, like if you fart, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I think it's called turtle, turtle shell. I mean, turtle shell. Yo, that's like if you fart it's over. <laughs> that's what I would. That's the only time I would poop. Like, like sometimes, like I really just be using the bathroom. And be like, dang, Dash, you taking the shit again? <laughs> like I just hear that. I'm like, uh, no. And they be like, dang, Dash, still in the bathroom taking the shit? Like, dang, sometimes I just be on TikTok, just looking at my phone and just sitting there, taking the poop, nah. taking the poop. And I, it would be a quick one too. Yeah. If I'm home, I'm comfortable. I'm at, I'm at, I might, it might look like a piss, but that's how fast it would be. <laughs> a baby, quick drop, quick wipe we out. I might have baby wipes. If you have baby wipes, then I'm going to work. Look at all your baby wipes. <laughs> but how about the shower like the shower like the thing is like if they're in the you better bring your own clothes ex- I know no, I do you're I do, not I do. using my clothes like I you, I, I put I bring some clothes like I leave some clothes at J House okay so it's like but like I don't wanna I don't like taking showers during the day when they're like walking around the house cause yeah, like that's nah. mad weird I like mean, imagine I walk out on the towel bro nah I would, I would get changed in the bathroom yeah bro. yeah yeah I know but like what if like that's like a scenario like that should happen like what if that should happen to you like with your daughter, like, like, why are you taking a shower at five o'clock? Like, what did you do <laughs> that you need to take a shower at five o'clock? Like, then go I home. Stinks. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Hey, you got your ass, yeah, bro. I, like I said, I'd rather just know, man. Tell me everything. I will, oh. I, I'm not gonna. I really, I'll really, be, I'll be the cool. I really won't care. Like, if my daughter be like, "Yo, I'm pregnant," I'm like, "Let's go." What you wanna do? Wait, what? Like, let's say my daughter came to me, like, yeah, I'm, dad, I'm pregnant. I want to get rid of it. I'll take her. Like, what won't even question her. No like, question, just go? Just go. Oh, my gosh. Let's go, yo. Do you know the boy? Are you comfortable with him? Is he? Okay, let's go. Mm, you know? You're a cool dad. I just, you feel me? Because I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be, I'm going to be the me. He's like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, like, so yo, you yeah, wilding, I'd rather, brother? I'd rather just be that, like, okay, whatever. You know? Or, you know what it is? Go talk to your mother. <laughs> oh, you one of those. I talk to your mom. Yo. Nah, if I, if like, <sighs> like so you start smoking weed, like, yeah, all right, don't tell. I'm, like, I'm, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm telling your mother. I'm like, all right, yo, just yo, do this, you know. <laughs> you go give my advice. Yeah, like yo, cover the smell, do this, do that. While so, you're drinking, yo, don't hide the bottles here. Like, bring, like, bring the bottles over there. You feel me? You know. Like, you having a party? Oh, okay, yo, just uh, you need alcohol. I'll buy the alcohol for you. You know. I think me and Jay would be cool parents though. Nah, but I tell Jay this all the time. Like when we like when we have a daughter, bro. Like she mm. she and the daughter are gonna be fighting. Why you say that? Cause I just know how she is, and oh, I know how is? the little girl is gonna oh. end up. And then me and my son are just gonna look and watch and just mm-hmm. laugh. I can't wait for that day. I, I don't want a daughter, yo. I can't take it. All right, so I have another question. What do you think is worse, your son getting somebody else pregnant or your daughter getting pregnant by somebody? My son getting somebody else pregnant. I'd rather. I'd rather for me their parents deal with that. Oh my! But like now you're like now you're in it now. I mean, either way, I'm in it. Yeah, but so, like you yeah. rather their daughter. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather be their daughter than my son. That's either true, way, I'm true. in it. You know, like oh, daddy's little. Oh, so now, true. guess what? Now, if your daughter's pregnant, you gotta walk around. Like, let's say she decides to keep it. Now you have like, you walking around, you're walking with around the, with the belly, the attitude, and all types of stuff. Feet you know? hurting. You feed now. You feed it for two, and for me, most likely the baby's gonna live with you because they always live with the mom. Yeah. So it's like, dang, now you guys with another kid in your house. When it's like, I right, if it's my son, like I right, like take care of your kid, but like the kids mm. over, the kids over there, right? <laughs> <laughs> but what if the what if the daughter like what if the the girl wants to move into your crib? Would you would you help? Would you would you help your son take care of them? I mean, if my son's not a delinquent, you know. Mm-hmm. He's just a bum. Like, bro, dude, get, your, get your life together. But if yeah. he's just a like, like, good kid trying to get his it life just together, happened. it just happened, yeah, I'd be like, all right, bro. I think so, too. Like, I don't think, like, some parents would just kick their kid out automatically. Hopefully, hopefully I'm well off in life <laughs> where I could just be like, you know what? Have another one. <laughs> How about that? Go have another one. Go do it again, you know? Hopefully I'm that... I'm that rich in my life one day. He said, go just, have another one. Go, go have fun, yo. Go, go, go do it again. You know? Yo. All right. I have, I have another disrespectful thing, bro. Not disrespectful, but like pain. Uh-huh. Like, you know the pain where like, like your girl laughing at another guy's joke. We was talking about this the <laughs> other day. Talking about the other day, yeah. Ah. <laughs> it's like, so fucking funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, I think that's a no whole other pain. It's like, like, dang. He funny, like I want to be funny like him now. You be like, you be like, now you try to joke him, like, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wasn't that funny? <laughs> like, uh, did that you, ever happen to you? Tight? Nah, I'm usually always the funny one. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's tough. Uh, Jay, Jay don't be laughing at no, nothing else but or me. Or like, you my me? stuff. Or like, I'm, I, I, you can't out roast me, like unless you really got a good joke for me, like you feel me. So if, if I'm ever, if I'm ever in a situation, 
Most I'm not. Most times I'm not in this. I won't be in that situation. Like mm-hmm. I said, but if I'm ever in that situation, like whatever you say, what my comeback is gonna be crazy. So if like, she laughed like, at, like crazy as in like fucked up crazy. No, or? I mean whatever, whatever, like, whatever it has to be is gonna be. So oh, okay, my comeback okay. is my comeback game is crazy. So like if you say a joke that's really good, like my comeback game is already gonna be like all right, mm-hmm. word, boom. So now she's laughing harder at my joke than that's his joke. Dang. I'm usually the that, the funny one, so I don't really. Oh, you lucky! You lucky guy. And I don't do that. So like when I'm around other girls, I don't try to joke on my homies. Like I know people. Yeah, I know, yeah. No, I know a couple of us that try to do that. You feel me? Like when we get around girls, they just act like, oh, now everything is a joke, right? Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, <laughs> <laughs> don't get, don't let me get start roasting because I get bad. I get bad when I start roasting. I know, I know. Hey, everybody's like that, bro. Like I, I, I go on, like sometimes I just go on Instagram and I'm like, I'll comment something and somebody will comment my comment. And like say something like, "Oh, what made you think that?" Or like, "Oh, that's so stupid." I don't even respond to the comment or the argument. I just go to their page and start roasting them. Like, <laughs> oh, where you think my comment was stupid? You look like, oh, you one of those. Yeah. Oh, I know what you mean, bro. I watch a lot of movies, so I have a lot of things to compare people to. Dang. Yeah. I have a lot of fr- like I have a lot of friends like you that remember stuff like that. Like, like UJ does that a lot. I know. He has good analogies. I know we be on the game. Me and VJ go go crazy on the game. You not in the party? Me, you is my friend now. Like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> we don't talk. We don't talk through you no more. Me and UJ talk now, bro. I That's know. my guy. I and know. feel me. And we goes. We go. We get sad when we start to roasting, yo. <laughs> like, we're, like, we're like we jump. When we jump, Ray is bad, bro. When we, me and UJ start jumping, Ray. Oh man, Ray gets offline, bro. <laughs> get- but last question of the day. I don't know if I didn't think I. Would... Let's see what, how this answers goes. Okay, let me hear it. Has there ever been a moment where you've been down really bad? And what did you do after that? Always take care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I never, That's a good answer. I've never been that down bad where I had to do something crazy. The most I probably, I paid for porn by accident one time. <laughs> but I, no. Because I, I thought it was a free trial. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was like, damn, fuck it. And then I just took out $50,000 of my account. Oh. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Let me get my 50 back. <laughs> It was bad as hell, bro. I was like, damn, yo. Yeah, I actually know a couple of people that done that before. Nah, but it said free trial. <laughs> That's what they be getting you, bro. And you and put then, your little thing put in. Your, and it took 50 out right away. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is that free trial? <laughs> for, for Reality King, because they got me. I wanted to see a video so bad. It was all the little preview things at the top. And I was like, damn, that video looked fire. <laughs> <laughs> see, the person that was supposed to be on the show today, that uh-huh. happened to him. Uh-huh. If you're hearing this, bro, you know who you are, bro. I hope he's probably gonna be in the next episode. My nigga Jordan, bro. Shout out to you, bro. Hopefully you come next show. Hope you don't hold me again. So, so UJ thinks that this is his question. I asked this question first. When did you realize, like, when do you think, like, the person you are right now, when do you think you became that person? When did you, th- oh, when do I think I yeah, became like this person? That person you, like, the person you are right now. Oh, I know. Uh, you- I know the exact, uh, it was, um, uh, senior year. Your senior year high school? Senior year high school uh, prom weekend. And that's who you think you became the Darius you are right now? Yeah. Like, yeah, that day. Like, I knew, like, because, like, some shit happened in high school where, like, I don't want to say what happened, but, like, some shit happened where, like, mm-hmm. that me back then is not yeah. how I am now. Like, I learned from that, and, like, that just changed my whole, like, perspective of everything. That's tough. I think, so I feel like I've been the same person my whole life, pretty much. But you think so? I think so. I remember, like I said, like in like middle school, not middle elementary school. I wasn't cool. I was I watched WWE. I, I was the weird dude that watched wrestling too much. And I was just tall, so I like it was like uh, he's tall for no reason. He doesn't play basketball. He's tall for no reason. Mm. Like middle. I mean, school, I was the same way. Middle school, I kind of got cool, mm. but I think it was more that I was good at basketball, cool than more than he's actually cool. Mm. And then high school, like like kind of half a high. I'll say like I feel like I've been the same person since. The middle of my sophomore year of high school, mm. I think that's when I became the, uh, well, the, dude, the dude you meet now. Like, 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 let me let me explain to you. Like, since we're going back, so like I was the same way like you. Like middle school, like I probably had like a couple of friends, uh-huh. and like I was always like I always used to just play video games all the time. Like I played basketball. I think I got cut like seventh grade, uh-huh. and then eighth grade I got I made the team. And like really, most of my friends were the people that played basketball. Yeah, and like I didn't hang out with them that much. Other than just basketball, like they mm-hmm. they rarely like I invited, like I invited a lot of people to my birthday parties, like when I used to go to like paintball and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like those guys are not like my my friends now. See, I never had birthday parties. I was afraid to invite people. I feel like people wouldn't show up. 
Really? So like younger, like I never like my mom like oh let's have a birthday party. I'm like ah, I can't do it. Like nah, I don't really want nothing. But it was it was more cause like I'm like dang, I don't know who's gonna show up. Like I was like that too, because like my friends would be like yo, why don't you invite no girls? Oh, like, one of those, yeah. Yeah, See, I'd, I was I'd be like, like that. Like, like I'm scared to invite girls, you know. Like like ever like I was always like that. Like I didn't like having parties because like I didn't like want to invite uh-huh. no girls over and stuff like that. And like so like freshman year, like I felt like. I didn't like. I only had like it was like just me and my boy Ish uh-huh. like the whole time, and like we had, like, we was like it was always me and him hopping over through like different friend groups. Like we yeah. we hung out with like a bunch of white kids. We used to go to it was like me, him, and Fritz. We used uh-huh. to go to the park to play basketball and football every weekend, and then like I would play with my basketball friends that was on the team. But like I felt like the people on my team they weren't really like my boys, boys. Yeah, and like I felt like like there was a time where I was just like yo, I don't know who's like. Like really like my friends like that. I thought the people younger than me, like Tyrone and them, mm-hmm. and like I thought they was like my real friends. Yeah. But then junior year, that's when I met like you, Jay, Chris, mm-hmm. all my guys. Like I met, I, I hang out with now, and like like them, the way they are is like how I am. It's like we all just fit. Like we're not like the normal people. Like yeah. we're all like different and weird in our own way. Cause like like I always thought like I tried to fit in mm-hmm. a lot. And, like, I thought I could fit in because I played basketball. I was good yeah. at basketball. But really, like, that's not the group that I wanted to be mm-hmm. in. Like, I wanted to be in a group where it's, like, I'm comfortable being myself and just, like, being, like, the little weird person I am. Yeah. And then, like, senior year, it's, like, something happened to me with, like, some girl or something mm-hmm. like that. And then... I know the story. Yeah, you know. I explain it. And, like, it changed my perspective on how, like, mm-hmm. I was. I'm not going to be, like, that type of person, like, yeah. throughout my life. Like, I like I told... I always used to tell myself, like, that person... That that Darius, that, that nigga died, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm a whole new person. So, I like like that point you made. You was like, so I never tried to fit in. Mm. So like that's why I, like I, I feel like I was always the weird kid. Like I already like I I, I know I was the weird kid. Trust me, in middle school, I know like people talk to me now, but oh no, he was cool in middle school. I was like, no, I'm cool now. So you think I was cool in middle school? Mm-hmm. I wasn't cool in middle. I'm not middle school. Uh, elementary school. I was like I was literally that weird kid that played video games all day. And, oh no, and, I was too in elementary. And watch school. wrestling, but like I said, I never tried to fit in. Like. People mm-hmm. like, oh, do this, because I'm like, no. My mom be like, oh, you try to gotta talk to people. Like, no, I'm cool with my one friend, mm. you know, Matt, Matt and his friend. I'm cool with that. Like, I'm don't, I'm, I don't need to talk to people. You feel me? I know like, what you mean. Sixth grade, I became cool because I started playing basketball. Yeah. And I feel me. I was tall. I was good at basketball. You know, yeah. in middle school, I was really good at basketball. So it was like, I, I don't feel like I was cool. I felt like. I was good at basketball, so that made you cool. That's yeah. exactly how I felt. You feel me? But not sixth grade. I, I'm not going. I was. I was still ass in sixth grade. <laughs> like seventh grade, eighth, I was really good in eighth grade. So seventh grade, eighth grade, I felt like that's when I like everything. Like for me, I started realizing like like certain like things. Like all right, like I start realizing like I why do people think I'm cool? Like you feel me? Like mm-hmm. so I was like cause I still like was on my weird. I watch wrestling mm-hmm. like. Really didn't really watch basketball that much yet. But like I was a Derrick Rose fan, yeah. I was a Knicks fan. I played basketball, but it was more like you know, like I like I said, like I like the things that came out of my mouth was like, like why, like like hold on, like you still watch that? You still call your dad daddy? You still like <laughs> yeah. too old for that? Like you know? So it was like you know, like I didn't care. I didn't like I never wanted to fit in in eighth grade. I feel like some the thing that changed me in eighth grade was like something something like. A girl, you know, like, yeah. like, you know, a little, not a heartbreak, but it was like, damn, like, you did me like that, yo. I know what you, you feel mean. Me? And that made me, like, kind of, like, like, boss up a little bit in ninth grade. You feel me? Nothing happened in ninth grade. You feel me? Same. Felt like I was just cool because I was associated with basketball. Mm-hmm. And then, like, 10th grade was, like, the middle of 10th grade. So, like, after basketball ended in 10th grade, that's where all, like, the sarcasm, the jokes, the it that's just came my, out. That's when my, like, my swag came. Like, I don't mm. know what happened. It was just... Something clicked in my head that I was like, "This is who I am." And then once I transferred to Teaneck, like I first at first when I transferred to Teaneck, I was kind of quiet. Yeah, a little bit, not really. I was kind of quiet. But then, like like I said, like then that's when like I feel like I was, like by eleventh grade, I've been the same person since eleventh grade. Mm. That's the wit, the wittiness, the, the sarcasm, the jokes, the just the came. dark humor, everything. I was just that's, I've been the same person since at least eleventh grade. Mm. See, I think I think I think that too, cause like. I was I was always a quiet kid too, uh-huh. and like like I like what I meant by trying to fit in. It was just like I was trying to find trying which to find, group yeah. I belong see, in. I never see. I never did that. Like I mm-hmm. feel like like even like when I got like so like in middle school, like so like I said I was kind of cool in middle school, 
I would still talk to like the cool, the cool dudes. They'll be, they'd be cool with me. Yeah. I still talk to my nerd friends, like feel me, my mm-hmm. wrestling. Yeah, friends. that's how I was. And I still talk to the people that was smart. But in high school, I didn't even realize I did this as much. And like when I was transferred to teen, at least, I think I was still that person in middle in, in Bishop Lachlan a little bit. Yeah. But when I get, I never realized when I was like. When I trained for the T-neck, like, I would still talk to, like, the nerds. And, like, mm-hmm. I would talk to all types of groups of people. And I would never realize that's, I'm, like, I'm talking to everybody. Like, like especially, I realize now I'm in college. Because, like, every once in a while, you get a people, you, you just meet somebody you met in high school. Like, the yeah. other day, literally the other day, I was working, we was working the, the soccer game. Mm-hmm. You know how I work the, the, what the, the gate side. So, yeah, yeah. So, like, it's like a little... The little, the little hole. There's not a hole, but, you know, like, the little is not covered. Yeah. So, you can watch it through the gate. Mm-hmm. And it was this dude just staring at me. He remembers you? Yeah, but but at first it was it was like it was weird at first. I'm like, I kept looking back like. So finally, I just moved close to the gate. I was like, what's up, bro? Like, you good? <laughs> he was like, Yo, you name you went to Teenac? I'm like, Yeah, it's Teenac. He was like, Your name is like K K B K K something. So K P, yeah, Corey. My name is Corey. He's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you play basketball, right? I was like, Yeah. He's like, Yo, I remember you. I was like. No, that's cool. Like that's cool. I said. I said that's. I said that's cool. You remember me? I said that's cool. Like you feel me? I gained a little weight to change my hair. Like you know? <laughs> so that's cool. You remember me? You feel me? Especially me from working a soccer game. You remember me? Yeah. He was like, yo, like you feel me? Like, like you was like you know you talked to us in high school. Like you feel me? Like you talked. Like, I was a freshman when you was a, a senior. So like mm. I talked. You talked to us in high school. So like you feel me? We wasn't like you know those arrogant people. I wasn't. Say, I wasn't gonna say that. They're cool people. Nah, <laughs> just let them know, bro. You know how the, you know how people be. Bro. They're not gonna watch it anyway. But you know like. It was like they was like yo, you talked to like so he was cool. He was a cool dude, you know. And I was like, oh, that's tough. I mean, like I said, like I was always that dude that, especially like in eleventh grade, I still hopped around different friend mm-hmm. groups. Like I had a my boys that didn't play ball. Yeah. Even in college, you still I, know that. Like I had my had Jermaine. Like I literally had the weirdest the weirdest crew. You see me walk around with bro. You see Jermaine, my friends, bro. You see me walk around with Jermaine, a little short Puerto Rican that looked like an Indian dude. You see the the <laughs> a a big, six foot. Big, huge, white dude that with long like, hair that looked like, like Thor. a lumberjack. Yeah, lumberjack. lumberjack. <laughs> then you see me hanging out with the basketball dudes, and then you, I might, know. you know, so like for me, I always was that dude that had different friend groups. And then you see me hanging out with little Kyle. You feel me, little I Asian know. dude. Shout that, out to Kyle, bro. I would hope you're doing good, bro. I really do hope you're doing good, Kyle. Wherever you're at, I know you're, <laughs> you're not gonna watch. I'll probably send it to him on Snapchat. See if he yeah, watches it. Yeah, see if he watches it. But I, I hope you're doing good, Kyle. But like, you feel me? Like I was always that dude that hung out with different people, though. Me, I think I did too, cause like I used to hang out with like you know like the kids that didn't play basketball. But mm-hmm. like the funny thing was like the kids that played basketball, there was like my least like favorite friend group, cause like I honestly did like especially in my grade wise, uh-huh. like Tyrone. And Chim and them, like, they, they the were... people that played basketball was your least favorite friend group. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, it was really... Like, my, my least favorite friend group is... In high group, school. In, well, high school, yeah. My, yeah. It was the people I played basketball with. Like, like, I just felt like they was just so, like, it wasn't me, bro. Like, it was just... They always don't, like, want to go out party and shit like that. Like, I... I like, mean, in high school, that wasn't me either. So, like, like I, I felt I felt the same way. Like, that wasn't me. Like, I mean, I, I'll go out now, but, like... Feel me in high school, I was just like, damn, y'all about to go, y'all about to go smoke, y'all about to go drink. Yeah, like, I'm like, nah, <laughs> like I'm trying, like, yeah. like with like UJ, Chris, like my boy Jordan Ish and all mm-hmm. of them, like we all we used to just love to do is like we used to just go over each other's house and just play video games. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, feel me, like, like me and my boy Pierre, like fucking seven foot bum. <laughs> so, me and my boy, like we were like we was like the same person in high school. I was just cooler than him, but like, we was because you know he's a loser, always be a loser. I don't care, he's always gonna be a loser, Pierre. <laughs> you just. You just suck as a person. But, like, we was the same person type of, like, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. we were just both losers, you feel me? But, like, yeah. we didn't want to go go to the party with, with them. We didn't want to go drink with them. We didn't want to go smoke before practice or after practice, you mm-hmm. feel me? So it was just, like, it was, like, all right, like, we, go, we we my road dog, but we out, you feel me? So That's facts. It was, like, it was like, like that. Because, like, what I base my friends off of is, so, like, I didn't like doing all that stuff, right? And what I learned is... Like, the stuff that me and my boys do, like, now, like, we go on trips and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. a lot of people want to do the stuff that we do now. Yeah. So, it's like, dang. Like, all this the whole time. Like, what we what I've been trying to run from. Like, mm-hmm. not really run from. What I'm trying to... What I tried to, like, accomplish... I don't know how to explain. Like, what I found my way into is, like, really what people are starting to like now. I'm saying, like, it's just, like, you know, people follow the hype. So, like, from I know. high school... It's you cool to do all young. that stuff. You feel me? Like so, it's like, dang, like that's what people. But like, you see people like as people. People grow don't know up, how to be themselves. People grow up. You feel me? It's like, dang, like 
well, that's what you're doing. Like, like that's cool. You feel me? Like, that's what we, like, that's what's going on now. Like, all like, you feel me? The stuff that you think was weird. Like, people was like, like, it's like, people you think was like lame in high school, like cool as hell now. You feel me? Facts. Like, like, it's like, it's always, it's always going to be like They that, always looked at us like weirdos and stuff you like that. Me? Like, my, my boy Jordan used to freaking grab little freshmen and rape them in the Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, it was, whoa, it was bad. whoa, 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 Mic check, mic check, whoa. Like, I have to show you videos of this <laughs> nigga used to the stand. That's crazy. Like, he used to grab him and just, like, don't want to talk about it, but. That's crazy. Who, to, what you say his name was? Jordan. Jordan, you need to relax, my guy. <laughs> you need to relax. He watches this podcast? He's going to watch this. I'm Yo, sure you need to relax, my guy. <laughs> but, nah, bro. Like, with y'all, bro, like, with the Rutgers team, mm-hmm. like, Honestly, I thought y'all like the re- like one of another reason why I didn't like want to hang out with y'all. I thought y'all was gonna be like them, like how my team I was mean, in like, high school. But y'all was like like I feel as though y'all is just like how my boys is. Most of us, yeah, most of y'all, yeah. Like I feel like I can hang out with you, like you, Quincy, Jordan, like Ty, Jim, mm-hmm. all y'all. I can hang out with y'all. Like I can hang out with like like UJ and all of them and stuff like that. Yeah, like you all just like down to earth people, like mm-hmm. not like. Overly want to do mad stuff. I, I mean, mean, even some of them, some of them might do that. Yeah, like we know. You don't gotta say no names, man. We all know. <laughs> but like, yeah, even like, even me, like, like I said, like, like I played with Jelly Fam dudes in high school. Like, it was obviously, you know, the hype there. There was more hype than we was. But for me, like, like hanging out with them, like it wasn't like it wasn't like weird hanging out with them. Like they were still cool down to earth dudes. So like they was cool as hell. You feel me? Like yeah. Like I like I talked to I talked to Dre to this day. I still talked to Ja. You feel me? So like we was like, it was cool as hell. But like you feel me? It was like. They was like I couldn't keep up with them. Yeah, I know what you mean. So it was more like that's why like I gravitated towards the Pierre and the, what you call it. The weirdo. I mean, like yeah. I like I Pierre's like... a weirdo. So let's say that <laughs> I didn't say weirdos, but Pierre's a weirdo. So but like but like I seen like I couldn't keep up with their you know their hype. You feel me? It's like I right, like that's y'all. You feel me? Like, yeah, I'm no, not, I'm that's not, not me. I'm not that level. You feel me? So I'm like I'm a like, hang out. Like with, there's a lot like, of people that try to get to that level. Yeah. Like. To this day, like out of high I'm saying, school. like yeah, like it's like people that try to catch up to that. Like that's that, that's not true. That's not true. Yeah, man. like find your own thing. Like bro. to this day, I, I talked to my boy Asa. I talked, I still talk to him to this day from high school. Like for me, he didn't play ball enough, and that was my guy in high school. That mm-hmm. was my road dog. You feel me? Yeah. To this day, I still talk to him. You feel me? And, and that's crazy. It's crazy that I say that because like like I said, I was I thought I was weird in, in Brooklyn. I'm like, not weird, but like for me, I still wasn't. Like, I talk normal to, kids. I talk to more people from Bishop Lachlan, not from T Neck. Mm. To this day. That makes more sense. I talked to way more people from Bishop Lockton than I do from Teaneck, mm-hmm. and like I feel like I said, I feel like I've been I've been the, I've been the same person since Teaneck, but I still talk to people when they I thought when I thought I was weird, I still talk to more people. Yeah. Than I did, and I thought I was actually like. That's good though. Cool, you know. That's good though, because a lot of people, a lot of the people, like they think us athletes just be talking to ourselves. Like, nah, bro, we got. We got clicks everywhere, bro. That's what I'm saying. Shout like, out to Flea Bands, Ma, bro. We up, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who that is, but shout out to Facts Over Opinions. Bro. <laughs> I don't know. It's <laughs> the gang, bro. It's the members. Yes, sir. But, but that was good. Like, what? what is one message you would say to somebody in high school that's trying to find their way? Just be yourself, man. You feel me? Just be yourself. And you, you'll never go wrong with being yourself. Who cares? Like, you feel me? Just know if you be yourself, whoever likes you is going to like you for you. You feel mm-hmm. me? So don't just be yourself, dog. You feel me? Like... That's all. Exactly. That's all you really got to do. Like you would never go wrong with being yourself. Exactly. You feel me? Don't, you don't even gotta make your. You don't even click. gotta make your own click. Just do be what you gotta you, do. Be you. Be you, and people and that people that is more like you will gravitate towards you. Facts. People that you want to be around. If you just start being, like, be you, and more people that like that's like you is gonna gravitate around you. you exactly. Feel me? So like you don't even gotta. They don't gotta act like nobody. You feel you me? Just act like yourself and you be straight. Act like your damn self, yo. Be yourself. And that's that's how you end the podcast, and my brother. That's how you end the fucking podcast. Yeah. Hit the button. Hit the bro. button. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but that was good though. Shout out to you, bro. Thank yeah. you again for coming back on last the show. Last minute, minute entry, you know what I'm saying? Me? I was in my bed sleeping. He last minute me. signing. Last minute last signing. Last minute signing, you feel me? That's why you feel me? On a ten day contract. I'm writing KP on this paper. I think I'm stamped. You know, gangster, bro. You know what I'm saying? Thank yeah, you, you know, again, bro. Guy. Yo, this this is the end to episode six of No Regus Podcast. Y'all haven't already follow us on mm-hmm. TikTok and No Regulars. Follow us on Instagram at no regulars, no regulars. Podcast. We're already on Spotify at No Regulars Podcast and Anchor. And subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Help us get to 100 subscribers. We're already at 46. We're on our way up. Let's get to 50 as soon as possible. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments what topics you want us to talk about. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the next guest, we're going to talk about it with y'all. Yes, sir. But ASMR, bye. Tune in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? 
Oh my god, come on. Oh, that was that was crazy in my ear. Hey, pause, 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 pause. Wait, pause. what? <laughs> oh my god, no. Bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, pause, pause. Yeah, let, let me end it before it gets even more crazy. Wait. Shout out to Brooklyn, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But R.I.P. Pop Smoke. R.I.P. Pop Smoke, man. Big woo, gangster, you know what I'm saying? Wooski. <laughs> but, all right. See y'all later, man. We different. They regular, no regs, man. Gangster.